everyone and welcome back to our Stardew Valley 1.6 Joja run. So today I woke up and it said straight away the Trout Derby event has begun. So obviously we have to check that out. No idea what the heck that is. We saw a sign for it last episode. So we're gonna see what the heck's going on. Um, we just before starting stream today completed my personal Stardew Valley character tier list, which I will link here if you wanna go check that out. Cause uh, that's a fun time. But today we are going to make Shane our boyfriend because we are super, super close. Look at that, we have a sliver of a heart. So I think if we, if we talk to him, if we talk to him, I don't know what that accent was. If we talk to him, we might be able to ask him out straight away. Otherwise we can gift him tomorrow because the gifting week does reset tomorrow. So that's good. I also have a note there to upgrade my pickaxe. So I guess that's on the cards as well. Demetrius wants a melon, which we should have. Good morning, little Chester. <gasps> Look at your beautiful little bow. <laughs> Lewis's pants in the thing, I forgot. <laughs> And they're also there. They're just everywhere. The Trout Derby. <laughs> it's fab. Okay, good. You found out the hard way. This won't auto activate anywhere else in the town. You have to go to the forest. Okay, thank you, Ryu. Um, Ryu said you're finally getting far enough in 1.6. Same place as me. So you feel like you can watch stuff on YouTube to find things you might have missed for you when year two hits. Often when year two hits, yeah. Ben, what mods have you got in this playthrough? If you go to my link in bio, um, it actually takes you to a mods document that I've made that lists what mods I'm using. This is the 1.6 playthrough. It just has quality of life for this one. I want it to be mostly unmodded. Run to catch him as he leaves the farm. Wait, run to catch who? <laughs> uh, Shelby and um, Chica as well. Thank you so much for the follows. Welcome in. Where did I put my watering can, excuse me? Shane? Oh, as in, oh yeah. Welcome back, Wild. Nice back. <laughs> still Angie, <laughs> still Angie. Um, because he is he not going to be at the Trout Derby thing event? When does he leave? It's in my inventory. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Thank you, Meg. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, it was in my second inventory thing, so I just didn't notice it. <laughs> what a goose. Love your farm. Thank you, Chica. It's still very early in this playthrough. We're only in summer year one, so I haven't really done much in the way of decorating, but you know, it's something. <laughs> yeah, welcome in. How's your day going? How's your day going, darling? Okay, we got some clay and then we'll save these hops for whenever we get kegs. And then do we have our scythe on us? We do not. Let's get the scythe. I love the fact that you get to see so many non-valley NPCs, especially in the new update. Ooh, exciting. This type of event is a little different from others. Okay. Okay, I hear ya. They aren't related to one event anymore. There you go. Um, so does anyone know when, when Shane leaves Marnie's? Like, do I need to go, like, now? <laughs> like, now now? <laughs> or, like, later now? <laughs> Currently flirting. Wait, what? You can't use what I said you should add to your chat in my chat. <laughs> oh, 50 minutes ago. Good. So I've done well. So does that mean he's already like off somewhere? Wait, where is he? Oh, it says he's still at the ranch, but who knows? I'm marrying Shane in this playthrough, who's not really my normal taste, but we're doing a Joja run and we voted for it and he just kind of made sense. So that just kind of made sense. I just got this sword in the mines. We just found it down, down there, down there in the mines, baby. Um, okay, let me put some stuff away. I'm almost eight hearts. I know. Yeah, yeah, it's super close. Oh, it's Saturday, so he should be at home. Um, wait, so do I need to go and see him? But if I go down there, is it going to trigger the... Is there like a cutscene for the event or does it just kind of run? How many beers did you give him, babe? I've been giving him gold quality chilies, so... No cutscene, okay. Okay, Um. let me see. Let me save a couple more flowers and then I definitely wanna save all of our hops. Or actually, I might sell the gold ones, honestly, and then save the rest. I think that's a good, a good shout. Okay, let's sell this, 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 this. And then those tomatoes, keep these ones. Whoa. Keep those ones. Oh, we need, do we need clay for something or am I thinking of a different playthrough? I can't remember if we needed clay. 
But we want to upgrade this to iron. Hey, how's our iron sitch? Let's smelt some iron because it looks like we have none. What time does the trout derby go till? Does anyone know? Bing bang bong. Oh no! Wait, these fences decay? <laughs> I did not think those would decay. For some reason I thought they'd act like, you know, in the expanded farm that you start with? Where it just has all that fencing around that just is permanent? All day, but you want time. Okay, let me go, let me go. You just got a gold clock, Joel? Hell yeah. Congrats. Uh, we need a clay for the silo, but I already have it. Okay, okay. Do you ever use the same deodorant for 10 years, then it goes up to $10 and you can't afford it, so you have to change to another brand and you smell yourself and you're like, who is that? Just a me thing? No, I feel you, Wild. I think you get used to a deodorant and I think your body chemistry gets used to a deodorant and then you do change and you're like, huh? Huh? <laughs> you're like that cat. <laughs> Wait, I have a, I have another quality sprinkler in my inventory. Interesting. We probably don't have time now to be growing too much more, but I'll slap it down for next season. Oh my god, we're almost at the end of summer. What the heck? What the heck? Am I going to need a lot of room in my inventory or what's the deal? For the derby? For the derby. Let's put this in here. And then do a little bit of clarage. Oh, I've got a little curly welly tree growing up into a big boy. Okay, hopefully that's enough inventory space. Okay, let's go. You've used the same perfume for 12 years, MG. There you go. I used the same kind of scent for a long time and then I changed and it was definitely a bit of a, a shonk. It's fishing, I need fishing room. Like, is that enough room or should I make more room? <laughs> what, since you were born? Matt, since you were born, you were using the same perfume. Who puts perfume on a baby? I have questions. <laughs> And you changed it 15 days ago. Wow. You had to go away from your peach scented old spice, cherish regular, and now you have axe and it makes you feel like a teenage boy. Just reading the word axe makes me feel like you're a teenage boy. Since you were born. You don't use perfume every time you get deodorant, you always get something different because you haven't found one you're in love with yet. Valid. Valid, valid. Okay, let me make a little bit of room then. I'll, I'll put the tools away that we don't need. Um, you hate summer, Ben. <laughs> you don't like the vibrant colors. That's valid. Hey, cat, welcome in. Just got a cow. What do I name her? Donkey. <laughs> hello, hello, cat. How you doing? How was your weekend? Okay, let me put away some stuff. I'll just take a little bit of foodies. Is Gus going to be there? Because I could give Gus an orange. He loves orange and I love him. <laughs> So that would be cute. Wouldn't that be cute? Wouldn't that be cute? Oh, your snoot didn't work. What the heck? Why did your snoot not work? Everyone else's snoot worked. Oh dear. You're off today for the eclipse. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, there we go. Bobba's snoot worked. How bizarre. Ben, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate that. Okay, let's see if Shane is home. Used a Brazilian perfume called Vati that smells like lavender and baby powder. Ooh, they changed it to cologne. Oh, that's rough. Okay, let's see if this gets us to eight hearts. Is this mm, microwave pizza? I think that's actually a human being, but anyway. Oh, that didn't get us all the way. Okay, so we're going to have to come chat to him tomorrow slash give him a gift and that should get us all the way. Let's say hi to Marnie while we're here. No, so sad. Sorry, cat. The rare, the ultra rare invisible snoot. Yeah, you get an honorary Fifi snoot. Shane equals microwave pizza. Yeah. I have money. That's where Razzle Dazzle lives. Oh, okay. You might have to get bumped down the tier list if you insult Zaddy. No insulting Zaddy allowed. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's Willy. Hi, Willy. You didn't quite make S tier, but you're up there. You're A tier. It's the big D. I've got all my equipment tuned to catch trout. Good luck out there. <gasps> Good luck to you, Willy. <gasps> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Who are you? Who are these people? The fishing sisters. Where are the famous fishing sisters? We'll fish as many fish as we wish. Na na na. <laughs> what is that? What is na na na? Oh my god. <laughs> Your favorite deodorant is $16 and it's wood and orange wild. Doesn't come in anti perspirant, yeah. That's rough. You're lurking today playing with the munchkin waiting for the eclipse. No worries, cat. Hope you enjoy. Of course, Willie's at the fishing event. Of course, of course. You have total coverage, cat. That's so exciting. Oh, I hope you and your kiddo enjoy it. 
Right, the fishing sisters are uh, popping off. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Look at all these little randos. Oh, hey. <laughs> Fishing pro. I know it's not a competition, but still, whoever gets the most tags will have bragging rights for the rest of the year. Wait, it's not a competition? I'll be back in winter for Squid Fest. Now that's a real challenge. Wait, Squid Fest? There's a Squid Fest? Excuse me? <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> I'm already excited. Oh my god, there's moss. There's moss. Give me moss. Thank you. <laughs> Angler. Any luck? Most of the bites I'm getting are from the mosquitoes. <laughs> uh, so far it's pretty clear, Cat. It's supposed to storm tonight. No storm. No storming. I never knew this was in Stardew Valley. This is in the 1.6 update, Ben. You should talk to the guy at the shack. I'll talk to everyone, don't you worry. Ah, uh, now this is the life. Nothing's more tranquil than a day of trout fishing. I love that the, the non, like friendable NPCs just look kind of like drawings. Do you know what I mean? They just look kind of blank. Na 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 is musical like a tune. Gotcha. Trout man. Where I come from, they call me trout man. Yep, I spent five years learning how to think like a trout. Pretty simple actually. Food, 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 lay eggs, rest, eat more food. <laughs> Am I a trout? Wait, I don't lay eggs. <laughs> The food, 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 rest and eat more food part is like me. Not the laying eggs. I swear I don't lay eggs. Oh, I am a trout, confirmed. Okay. Trout Chad, yeah. Okay, let's go back up here and talk to the others. You wish it didn't hurt fish? Yeah, I agree, wild. Oh, did they just catch something? Why does this person look like they have a little, like, cat mouth? Do you know what I mean? With the little, like... Egg side eye. <laughs> Thank you for the quote, Ryu. Of course, some guy shows up wearing the same outfit as me. How embarrassing. He looks like a little bear. Is this a bear? <laughs> Wild? Is that you? <laughs> they look like they're wearing fireman outfits. Anyone else? Just me? I think I'm a little overdressed for this event. Nah, you look cute, bro. I came all the way from Grampleton for this. I'm not leaving without a bag full of trout. The annual trout derby. Right, let's let's chat to this guy. Welcome to the trout derby. What can I do for you? Explanation. During this event, rainbow trout have a chance of carrying a golden tag. If you find one, turn it in here for a prize. I see. Golden tags on the rainbow trout. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Bella, I got myself the automate mod for Stardew. I don't think I can live without it anymore. I've heard a lot of people love that. It's a raincoat and hat, like the yellow man from Curious George. Cute. Very cute. <clears throat> okay, so I guess we're fishing some trout. Is that everyone I can talk to? I guess, yeah. And the trout just spawn kind of in the river. Hey, should I, should I be over here like where it gets to darker water? Let's see. Oh, look at my little bear. My little bear bobber. <laughs> Adorable. Felt a nibble. Good for you, bro. ADHD hitting hard when I've got purple app on my TV and scrolling clock app to see you on the FYP. Oh my goodness. The for you page. I know why I said FYP. Am I 110? <laughs> oh, there we go. We leveled up. It's our first catch. Is that our first rainbow trout? Huh. It might be. Wait, how do I know if it has a golden tag? Is it like very obvious? He said they have golden tags. I need to like go and trade him for golden tags. I'll know. Okay. Venora! Hello! Oh my goodness! Not the clay and Venora raids. Hello everyone, welcome in! If you haven't followed Venora, please do. A fellow cozy streamer playing Stardew today, I believe. Shooting stars falling in. It's a starshine raid. <gasps> Good morning, starshine. The world says hello. I missed a chest. I'm sorry, I got distracted by the raid. I got distracted. <laughs> How's everyone doing? I hope you had a wonderful stream. Uh, if you don't know me, my name is Bella. My pronouns are she, her, and we play mostly cozy games like Stardew on this channel. We're doing our 1.6 Jojo run today. That's a chub, that's not a trout. We're currently doing the Trout Derby, which is a new event I've never done before. Stardew caught with Clay Pigeon, then finished up with some Duolingo. What are you learning on Duolingo, Venora? Tell me, tell me. 
Venora was my absolute hero on Friday. Um, they came in while I was playing Hogwarts Legacy and helped me with a puzzle because I suck at puzzles. So grateful for that. <laughs> a bunch of stuff. Cute. Okay, let me see if we get any golden tags. I don't know what I'm looking for, but Korean, Finnish and Dutch. Wow, that's impressive. If I streamed Duolingo, everyone would judge me. <laughs> oh dear. Um, Leo says they just show up like a prize. Okay, gotcha. Should I get a Switch or mod a 3DS? Ooh, that's a good question. I'd probably get a Switch, to be honest. Um, when you say your pronouns, are you LGBT or ally? Me, personally? Um, I don't typically talk about it that much, but... I am I'm in I'm in the world. I'm in the LGBT <laughs> world is what I will say. Ah! Dang it. <laughs> but also just very welcoming and inclusive of anyone. I don't know. I don't know. I just I love everyone. <laughs> the end. I mean that just kind of explains where I live in the world. I'm in the rainbow. No, no, no. Don't stress at all. Don't stress at all. I just want everyone to feel comfortable to share their pronouns. That's all. <laughs> I'm a rainbow girl in a rainbow world. Okay. I still don't think I've caught a trout that is a prize trout, right? Hello? <laughs> How do I have five trouts and none of them have golden tags? What? What's going on? <laughs> what's going on? Oh, so annoying. <laughs> I'll know. Okay. I will know. Ooh. Oh, repost because of raid. PS though, mind freak. Fishing and catching fish is like aliens beaming up people. Like catch and release, they just go to a different universe for a bit and then they go home like, guys, you'll never believe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With like a hook in their face. For you, it was like one in every five to ten trout. Jeezy peeps. Jeezy peeps. Come on, give us a good trout. Uh, if anyone from the raid needs to raid and run, by the way, especially you, Venora, if you need to go de-stream, please go look after yourself. But if anyone wants to hang out, you are more than welcome to cozy up with us. And if anyone wants to do their little check-ins, you can do exclamation mark cozy, exclamation mark foxy, and exclamation mark blessed and see. See how your day's going. <laughs> okay, let's get some treasure this time. Come on, give me a golden tag. What the heck? What the heck? I can't do this whole event and not get a single one. That's just rude. Eight stone. Wow. If that ain't the best treasure I've ever received in my goddamn life. I don't know what is. Come on. Come on now. Look, me and this dude. Same brain. <laughs> same bloody brain. Come on. Okay, more treasure. I'll take it. I'll take the treasure. Yoo-hoo. Trouty poo. Where are you? I do need to feed my fur kids. I'll be lurking. Thanks for having us. No worries, Venora. Thank you so much for choosing to raid. I appreciate you. Double jade, double diamond. Okay. Uh, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Give me. Um, Re, thank you so much for sharing the live. I appreciate that. Why am I hungry? It's only 4.20 where I am and I had a big lunch. There's no way I'm hungry already. <laughs> I do have my apple slices with me, but I don't want to be nom nom and on stream already. Cheesy peeps. <laughs> it's the munchies. <laughs> Hi, Fifi. Fifi's coming to say hello. He's asking me why it's not dinner time yet. You still have one whole hour, buddy. I'm sorry. One whole hour till you get your food. Oh, we have give Fifi a treat. <gasps> Fifi, stay here, buddy. Meg has... <laughs> Meg has so kindly given you a treat. Oh, there we go. We got some good stuff that time. Hi, Bubba. You want to have a treat? Okay, let's give Fifi... Let's give Fifi a treat. Hi, baby. You've started a fishing only run, Ben. Oh my god, that's wild. <laughs> This is from Meg. Here you go, sweet boy. Oh, big chomp. <laughs> big chomp. Oh, what a good boy. <laughs> Thank you, Meg. He's a long boy. <laughs> he is very long. Is that, is the camera back? Is, is, is good? He is good. Someday you'll have your own dog cam, buddy. The long man, so handsome and gentle. Yeah, same wild. I think I went fishing like once or twice 
um, when I was a kid and then I was very traumatized and never went again. Long tiger boy. <laughs> You're close to maxing out all your skills year one. That's so good, Anna. <laughs> he's, he's laying on his giant caterpillar toy. Where the heck are these golden tags at? This is rude. How can I catch so many trouts and not have a single golden tag? Hello? Do I suck? <laughs> Thanks for the lurk, boss man. Oh, there we go. Jeezy peeps, finally. <laughs> Turn this into the trout derby booth for a reward. Do I need more than one? <laughs> hey, Selen, welcome in. Hello, hello. Selen, oh, completed a half marathon on Sunday. Oh my God, so proud of you, Selen. I hope you had a wonderful time and you've been enjoying like de... I feel like you need to decompress after training. <laughs> so much running. Yeah, so good. Oh my god. Ooh, a tent kit? Excuse me. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, that sounds beautiful, Wild. I would totally go there. Half marathon. Yeah, I know. Popped off. There are 11 unique prizes you can get. What, and each one costs a single golden tag? Wonderful time is not the right description. It was hard. They're in a cycle, so I won't get repeats. Oh my god, that's good to know. The only time you've gone fishing was in Alaska. You went salmon fishing. Oh my god. Wow, there you go. There you go. Okay, what the heck is a tent kit? Use this to deploy a one-time use tent for sleeping. Can only be used outdoors. Wait, that's amazing. We can go camping in Stardew now. That's so freaking good. Oh my god, I love that. Late night mining. Oh, 92% blessed, Salen. Dang, look at you. Emily loves camping. <laughs> no more running back from the mine. That is amazing. Dang. Ooh, that's very cute. Wait, you can use the campfire and the tent and just like vibe in the outdoors. I love that. That's cute. Wait, let's try fishing here. Can we reach the dark part here? The dark part. <laughs> Not quite. I don't know if the trout are only in the dark part or... Great for day one on Ginger Island. Only if you're a scrub who can't get enough things to unlock the farm on day one like we did. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, okay. It's golden tag second time around. Love that. Love that, love that. <laughs> Shade being thrown. What do I get now? Ooh, 20 deluxe bait. Don't mind if I do. It's not amazing to you because you have stuff to do at the farm every day. You don't even sleep at Ginger Island, Anna. Valid. Emily only brings one sleeping bag. <laughs> oh, sneaky. You love the 10 kit you keep on with you at all times. Can you learn to make them? For real, Bella out here attacking me. I'm trying to be helpful. <laughs> oh, just teasing, just teasing. Oh, so funny. Bella tip, if you want to sleep there, I recommend putting the tent down right now. I passed out trying to find a spot for it because it needs space. Ooh, okay, interesting. This, this like stays here until 2 a.m. Hey, do you think that's a good use of our tent? <laughs> Classic Bella. Uh, okay, let's go more fishing. Wait, so we just caught a trout right here, hey? Emily definitely paid the bear with Maypal syrup to attack you so she could snuggle. <laughs> definitely. It got away. Get good, bro. That's because it jumped onto my line. It's because I have a cute little bear bobber. <laughs> it's a little bear bobber. Whoa, whoa. Excuse me. Excuse me. What fishy is this? Oh, it's a pike. Starts at 6 a.m. So it depends how many tags you get today. Oh, it's tomorrow as well. Hey. Okay, I might save the tent. Um, did anyone answer? Do I end up being able to make a tent? Or can you only get them from here? You randomized your bobber, Anna. Cute. Wait, is there a way you can do it where every time you cast your line it's random? Or do you just get like a random one and then you have that until you change it? Give me that, give me that. A perfect combination of two of your disciples. <laughs> um, oh, you get the recipe for it at farming level eight. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I just got a river jelly. I think we've got river jelly before. I think the only one we haven't got is the cave jelly. So I've got a few river jellies. Uh, it's a foraging recipe. Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Nat. Foraging, not farming. Foraging. Oh, gotcha. A new book. Ooh, wait. Okay. Oh my God. I, what do I do? Oh, no, I don't have room. <laughs> wait. 
That can go there. This can go here. Oh no. Okay. We'll throw away the stone. <laughs> Jewels of the sea. Fishing treasure chests have a chance to yield row. Wait. Oh no. Wrong playthrough. I was about to say that's so helpful. But in our randomizer run, we have the... Um, we have the like fish farmer bundle, but it's the wrong playthrough. It's the wrong playthrough. Okay, well, it's fine. Oh, wait, look at them just chilling on the water. Hang on, if I do this, wait a second. I learned a new power, that's sick. Also, I just picked the algae back up. That was so weird. How come it didn't splash into the water? What? <laughs> I'm so confused, hello. <laughs> That was weird. I feel like every time I throw stuff out of my inventory, it just falls in the water. Hmm. Very, very interesting. New update. Yeah. That was weird. Hmm. Huh. There you go. Okay. My inventory is extremely full. There's not much point in me fishing anymore unless it's a trout. Wait, I think I'm going to run home. Maybe I'll run home and dump some stuff. I should have brought a chest down with me. I didn't think about that. Let's run home and then come back and just fish as much as we can. I don't know if I'm going to use the tent because it is tomorrow as well. Hey, yeah. I'm just going to dump stuff. Maybe they patched it. Mm, yeah, my energy is very low, so I'll have to eat some food for sure. Eat some foodies. Let's go put some stuff away. Oh, well, I don't have room in my inventory. Oh, oh. <laughs> no worries, Nat. Yeah, I did clear out my inventory, so this is all new. So we had we had a fair amount of room, but okay. For the diamonds, where are we putting minerals and stuff? I think was it this chest? I only organized this last time. Yeah, it was. Okay, I'll put that in there. And then we'll sell, I guess we'll sell the fish. We don't really need to keep them. We're doing a Joja run if anyone doesn't know. So there's no reason to keep anything for, um, for bundles. So we can just sell it. We need the money. <laughs> we need the money, honey. Cause those Joja bundles are dang expensive. Let me tell you. Not needing to keep stuff. I know it's a trip, hey? <laughs> okay, let me eat that. Uh, Lex, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate that. Let's get this jelly and this iron and this mayo. Mayo, thank you. Bella color coordinates chest so she knows what goes where. Also, Bella, wait, which chest are the gems again? Oh, <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, it's because the gems are in the resource chest technically, but I do eventually put them in a mineral chest. I just haven't separated them out yet, so... It's hard. It's a hard life. <laughs> okay, let me do that. And then also that. Sell this. Wait, let me, let me, let me, let me do that. And then in the morning, we should have enough iron to upgrade our pickaxe. But I think we need 10k. So I'm hoping that we earn enough to be able to do it in the morning. That'd be nice. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Maybe I'll marry Haley in my Joja run. A run completely against my morals. I was the same as you, and I only married Haley in my perfection run because she's like the perfect girl, right? That's why we chose her. I would never have normally chosen her, but then she ended up being so sweet. I was like, huh, should have married her sooner. <laughs> should have married her sooner. I love that you make the mineral mining chest black too, because that's the color I always choose. I think dark mines equals black, yeah. <laughs> you haven't played in winter yet, Bobba? Oh yeah, I wonder if they've patched it. Ooh, a Shane cutscene. Since we're marrying Shane, we're gonna watch the cutscenes. Uh, trigger warning for like alcoholism and depression, suicidal ideation, that kind of stuff for all of Shane's cutscenes, basically. Ben says, I always pick Haley. she's amazing. Yeah, I now agree. Um, Kent, I think, thank you for the follow. Hit feed, hello, welcome in, how you doing? Up late, huh? Here, have a cold one. Oh, it looks like he handed me his own drink, <laughs> but he still has one. So isn't this one of his healthier cutscenes? Possibly. I haven't romanced him before, so I just wanted to give a warning just in case. Someone who doesn't slander Shane's good name. Bah, life. Wait, is that moss? Can I collect that? <laughs> just picture me, hands and knees, 
scavenging moss from around the dock while Shane divulges his deepest thoughts. <laughs> you ever feel like, no matter what you do, you're gonna fail? Like you're stuck in some miserable abyss and you're so deep you can't even see the light of day? Uh-oh. I just feel like, no matter how hard I try, I'm not strong enough to climb out of that hole. Poor shame. <laughs> I love that, Anna. Hey, fast drinker, huh? Woman after my own heart. <laughs> oh, I'm drunk and Irish. <laughs> That's so apt. <laughs> Just don't make it a habit. You got a future ahead of you still. So do you, Shane. We're gonna get married. I know, auto mod's so weird. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we allow the gays here, don't worry. <laughs> Well, my life's- my life? No, not my life. My liver? <laughs> my liver is begging me to stop. Better call it at night. See you around, Jojo jo Jonas. <laughs> I always forget that's the name of my farmer until a cutscene. <laughs> As if Shane would want to marry me. Jojo jo Jonas. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I think I figured it out. Axe smells a bit like soap. I assume to make it seem like teen boys have showered. Wild. Oh my god. Auto mod hates clay as well. It's so funny. Oh, negative one speed when I'm trying to fish for trout. That's rude. Yeah, every time we type clay in, auto mod's like, oh, <laughs> I'm allergic to clay. <laughs> Alright, auto mod, chill out, bro. Okay, let's get some more trout, shall we? Let's get some trout. Some trouty trout. Just a little drunk fishing on a Saturday night, you know? We out here. <laughs> we out here at the trout derby. Have you looked at the books the bookseller has? Yeah, they're cool, Anna. I've never had enough money to afford them yet. That was a terrible cast. I did not mean to do that. Now I'm matching all of these losers. Um, yeah, I haven't been able to afford any yet, but oh my god, some of those books are amazing. Like, increasing your speed. Oh like a permanent speed increase, I will definitely be saving up for that. Chub. Also, I don't know what it's called in the UK, but I know Axe goes by a different name there. Lynx. I was about to say, it's Lynx in Australia as well. Yeah. That is exactly all of the teenage boys would wear that. And just the smell is like deeply traumatizing and triggering. <laughs> just reminds me of different times. <laughs> Different times, I'd rather not remember. You've brought the speed upgrade and oh my god, it's permanent coffee. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. Hannah, this is a new a new event in vanilla 1.6. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Cover's body, don't smell me. <laughs> Lucky smell-o-vision isn't a thing yet, hey. Imagine it is one day and then streamers put smell-o-vision on. And then you could do redeems of like spray a perfume. Oh, that would be so cool. Excuse me, it's midnight. I'm gonna go till 1 a.m. and then waddle home. <laughs> if you have perma coffee speed, what happens when you drink coffee? It probably just increases it more. That was that would be my assumption. Is it like plus one speed with the book and then coffee is like another plus one? Most streamers are gonna smell shocking. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is true. You go Exactly. <laughs> Then Fifi farts in the mic. Oh my god, yeah. Fifi would come in, someone would do a treat redeem. Firstly, the smell of these treats is really strong as a start. And then he always burps after I give him a treat. Uh oh, I missed the treasure. My bad. He burps as well, so you get to smell his burp. <laughs> I think I said this in another chat, but I have a coworker who insists on brushing her teeth before every work meeting, even though it's always through video. I brush my teeth before stream when I don't have like a coffee or a tea with me as well. <laughs> Like, for what? <laughs> I just feel like, I don't know, I feel fresher. I want to be fresh for you guys. <laughs> I don't know if it's like to make sure there's nothing in my teeth or something. It's a bit funny. It's a base speed increase and speed buff stack. Yeah, that's so good. He's a gassy long boy. Yeah. Oh, gosh. It's fast as a flash when you have all possible buffs to speed. Oh, amazing. I do feel mega slow whenever I start a new save. Because I'm normally just coffee, coffee, coffee. Oh my god, it's 1.20. Your girl did not pay attention to the time. Let's go. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We got this. We got this. Easy. I love the new update. Yeah. 
It's so good. It feels modded. There's so much new stuff. I know my rod all, always dominates. Oh my god, it's 140. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. But thankfully, if you fall asleep on your farm, you don't get charged any money. I mean, I might make it. No, I won't make it. It's fine. We pass out here. <laughs> we pass out. Good night, world. <laughs> Good night, cruel world. Ooh, what the heckity hookity snickety snookity? These are two brand new things. Hello. Level six fishing, a bait maker and a sonar bobber. You what? You what? <laughs> That's cool. What the heck do they do? Let's have a squiz. Sonar bobber is kind of mid. Oh, classic, classic bobbers. <laughs> you just got those two and you haven't crafted them or tried them out, but sounds cool. Okay, I need to look at the recipe. Let's have a let's have a look. No bobber is mid. <laughs> okay, bait maker, iron coral and sea urchin. Place a fish inside to create targeted bait. I feel like that would be really good if you were doing perfection and you needed specific fish for recipes. Like that is amazing for that, I feel like. Ooh, okay. I don't know if I care about it so much in the Joja run. Or the derby, that's true. I could make some trout bait. Huh, very true, Ryu, very true. Or for the squid one in winter. Ooh, interesting. And then the sonar bobber. Shows what fish is on the line before it's caught. Wait, that's kind of amazing, isn't it? Hannah, thank you so much for the follow. Isn't that kind of amazing? Especially for like this kind of event. Hello. That's kind of sick, because then I can see whenever it's not, whenever it's not a trout, I can just skip it. Hmm, I'm kind of tempted to use this. Oh, I can't. I actually don't have the fishing rod good enough. I was going to say I'm kind of tempted to use it for this event, but no, nah, there's not really any point today. Damn, pikes. <laughs> Welcome back, Nat. Use it for the tropical fish community goal. Yeah, see, that would be so nice good. Back. That would be so good. So much less time wasted, Lex. Yeah, exactly. Wait, what? What are you all talking about? What smell? I think I missed a smell chat. <laughs> Calvin Klein? Oh, oh, interesting. Yeah, gender neutral. I personally like to wear more traditionally masculine scents, I would say, like sandalwood. I don't know, just like earthy scents. I love like sandalwood, frankincense, lang lang. Just like really, mm, really, mmm. <laughs> sense. <laughs> okay, we have the Queen of Sauce. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish? Maki roll, the delicate flavor of the ocean sealed within a pillowy cloud of rice. Maybe a bit of wasabi for the adventurers? My mouth is watering as we speak. Oh, how I love sushi. Thank you, Queen of Sauce. Appreciate that. A sexy wood shop. <laughs> Linus found me last night. What a babe. Good morning, Chester. Sweet kitty. Your perfume smelled like apples, but you also love the old spice smell. You're very much a girly girl who likes girly scents. Your current perfume smells like the cashew fruit. Wow, I've never smelled a cashew fruit before. Sounds lovely though. I have farm animals and four kids. I think I just smell like tired human. <laughs> I wore Lang Lang every day for many years. That was my signature scent. And now I use like a specific Lush perfume. I love masculine scents, but CK has a whole line of gender neutral ones that have a hint of masculine. Ooh, that's nice. I do love a couple of floral scents like jasmine-y smells, like gardenia, night jasmine. Those are lovely, but other than that, I'm not really a fan of typically feminine scents for myself. Um, fire quartz. I guess we've already donated one to Gunther, so let's pop it in here. You smell like a ripe summer fruit. Yeah, I don't- I'm not a fan of like fruity or florally or like sweet candy-ish smells for myself, but I know they smell really nice on a lot of people. I also am convinced, and like this is probably science, <laughs> this is probably science, um, <laughs> that scents smell different on different people, right? 
Like, I swear, I went into Lush with a friend years ago, and we both tried all the perfumes, and they smelt different on all of, on, like, our skin each time. It was so weird. Like, one would smell amazing on her and terrible on me, and vice versa. It was very interesting, actually. I want to smell like my name would be Summer. Does that make sense? That does make sense, Anna. <laughs> I can picture it. Um, your perfume description is a floral bouquet on a sweet spring day. Wild daisies, pink peonies, and sun-kissed apples. Honestly, MG, I can picture you smelling like apples. Does that sound weird? <laughs> uh, what tool upgrades do you recommend doing first, Ben? It depends if you're more focused on farming or mining. Typically, I would go for pickaxe and axe first, but in this playthrough, because we need a lot of money quickly, we actually did the hoe and the watering can. So it kind of depends on your play style. You like using fruit scented deodorant wild to stay fresh and then sexy wood shop on top. So it's like you're drinking fresh peach juice while on a summer day near someone attractive who is chopping wood. <laughs> That's funny. Citrusy fruit because it isn't as sweet. I cannot smell citrus without smelling cleaning product. I'm sorry. That might just be me, but... <laughs> Shenko, thank you so much for the follow, by the way. Welcome in. Yeah, I agree, Meg. And I always think of like grandmas with rose smells. I can't do rose either. Even though I love a rose, I can't do like the fake rose scent. You're a lemon girly for cleaners always. Yeah, <laughs> that's why she's talking. Um, I don't, also don't like super sweet candy Mine's perfumes. Black, yeah, I can't do candy. I can't do candy. I did react. Sorry, you were stuck in Adland, Anna. I said I understand exactly what you were saying about smelling like summer. Definitely. <laughs> in your work office, you use lavender linen room spray. That's That sounds lovely. Uh, if someone wants a fresh, sweet summer scent, look at Granada and Fibo. Ooh, very cool. Intense grandma perfume is such a memory, hey? <laughs> Shenko says, thought I'd drop a follow seeing you in Gem Self promo channel for a while. Hope all's well. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. All is well. Hope all's well for you as well. Smelling like your name would be Summer. Yeah, yeah. I getcha. I can picture it. <laughs> I can definitely picture it. Uh, okay, let's see if we want to keep any of this stuff before we do some more fishing. Um, let's see. Summer Spangle. I already have a couple. I guess I'll keep an extra one. I know they're good gifts for old mate Caroline actually in fact actually in factually maybe it's worth befriending Caroline because tea saplings are still good right like they're not as good for money but they're still good and we do need to make a lot of money in this playthrough so I wonder if it is worth it how long does this take by the way eight days we do not have time I repeat we no longer have time to plant sunflowers in this season it's a tragedy. It's a Greek tragedy. Were we keeping our seeds somewhere else or were they just meant to be in our green chest? Oh no, they were here. That's right. That's right. Okay, let's pop those away. Let's sell a couple of these. Manswas? What is Manswas, Wild? Hi, Haley. How's the new pup? Oh my god, he's doing so well. My sweet phoenix. Thank you so much for the rose and the Neptune. <gasps> He's an angel. Jade's dog son. <laughs> He's doing so well. Um, on Mans Manswas? Manses? They did a test where they got a group of women to decide what man was the most attractive based on the smell of their shirt. And the one that won had a fruity smell and smelled like a, whim a woman's shirt. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. The fabric softener scent uses called Cool Cotton. Yeah, I do like those kind of housey smells. Your mum uses vanilla scents and her kids at school tell her she smells like cupcakes. That's so sweet. <laughs> They're worth half as much for you. Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> that's funny, Anna. <laughs> 250. Oh no, I missed the 500. That's so sad. Your friend said that they missed your smell when you moved away and I asked what I smelled like and she said you smelled very strongly like fresh laundry. <laughs> You've been waiting to experiment with scents, but you've this, used the same one for so long you don't think anything else would suit you. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, let's sell this and these. I'm going to sell the starred ones of these. And then we're going to keep the rest of that. Let's keep that for energy. I'm going to go back and do more fishing. Is there anything else we want to plant or are we just going to call it good on the planting for this season? Like, is it worth going and buying like... I don't know, whatever we can buy that grows within seven days. 
What 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 season are we in? We're in summer, hey. What's like the quick summer crop? Is it radishes or something? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, but we should definitely go upgrade our pickaxe today. 100 million percent. We can also get Shane to full hearts today and ask him to be... Ask him to be our... our BF. <laughs> so we will do that today. Clean shampoo and body wash. <laughs> You're gonna have a bunch of melons. Those are usually huge for money. Yeah. Radish is four or six days. Okay. If you could smell like anything, you'd smell like chocolate and fresh coffee. <laughs> I feel like you can surely find a perfume like that. Surely. Oh, let's take a melon in case we run into old mate as well. Is it Demetrius who wants a melon? Oops, did not mean to fish. Um, okay. So let's go Shane. Wait, where is Shane? Is he at work already? Let's see. Shane, Shane, Shane. Shane, Shane, Shane. No, he's at the ranch. Okay. Oh, because it's Sunday. So I guess let's go Clint and then Shane and then more fishing. And we can decide if we want to get some more seeds along the way. We got we got the minecarts, hey. I keep forgetting that we unlocked them, but I'm almost certain that we did. Yeah, we did. Nice. Nice. That's the other thing. Can't afford it, so you need to know what it's like first. Yeah. Oh, not till 9 a.m. Okay, let's go up to Joja first. Superior smell wild. <laughs> it's the candle smells you go for. Whoa. Not watering the pet. My bad, my bad. Marrying Shane on a Joja run is so... I don't know why I can't see the whole chat. Is so what, Lex? I love it. Yeah, we did a vote. We did a vote between... It was Shane, Sam, Emily, and Alex for the Joja run. And Shane, Shane won the vote. <laughs> That's funny, Bobba. Oh, look, it's Penny. Yeah, you can get so many testers, hey. But it's different to smell it on, like, the paper that you get and to, like, smell it on yourself. So it's kind of hard to test a bunch of perfumes. Yeah, Penny was up there. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> Okay, let me let me check for it is radish, right? Six days, yeah. Why don't we just get like twenty radishes? We're not gonna have much money left after we upgrade this pickaxe, but I think it's necessary for these deeper mine levels. It just is so annoying trying to do that with a baby pickaxe. A baby. You choose your favorites and test them in your skin. You're very happy with your decision. Nice. The cologne you have, you love the smell on paper, but not on your skin. So you put it on your clothes. Okay. That's good. Okay. Let's get that steel hoe. Wait, no, not a steel hoe. I didn't bring my pickaxe. <laughs> Honestly, you can't take me anywhere. Also, it's only 5k. I don't know why I thought it was 10k. What a goose. <laughs> what a goose. Oh dear. Let's go back. You got Iridium pickaxe year one, Anna. Oh my god, flex. Gold is 10k. I see. Right, well, I guess now we're here, we might as well just plant these radishes. <laughs> my bad, my bad. I've played this game before, I swear. I swear. <laughs> okay, that's... Oh, we can do this, actually. One, two, three, four, five. And then even if they just get watered, nah. I was gonna say I'll just leave them and let them get watered, but no, I will water them. I will water them today. And let me get my pickaxe before I forget, like a goose. There we go. <laughs> At least I didn't put the stream ending screen on. How embarrassing was that? Oh my God. I was defeating like a tricky boss in Hogwarts Legacy on Friday's stream and I kept accidentally tapping my stream ending key on my keyboard so no one got to see me win the boss fight. <laughs> it was so funny. Honestly, what a goose. Oops. Ah. Okay, <laughs> we go on. Oh, don't forget the pet. Ah! <laughs> Let me go back. Let me water Chester. Okay, if you insist. <laughs> there we go. Hi, Jungle Skog. You're doing such a good job with the shipping bin. Love you, bro. Love you, bro. Appreciate you. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Twice, yeah. I'm a monster. Officially. Confirmed. 
Right, back to town. Oh, let's get this. Back to Clinty Poo. <laughs> Chester loves me already. <laughs> Wait, how are our hearts doing actually with Chester? We're three and a half. Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good for summer 20. <laughs> yeah. I, I hear you wild. Also, sometimes I feel like you use a deodorant for a while and then you use it one day and it just stops working and you're like, huh? <laughs> squish the sun. Squish, squish. <laughs> the hee hee mood. Not the hee hee. And I've really, I really tried to get on like the natural deodorant kick and I just don't find them as effective and it makes me so sad. Okay, Shane is down there, so let's go back down here. <laughs> Say hee hee. Smells are difficult, yeah. I know, I love that feature too, Anna. Hi Lewis. Was he was he um GTFO tier or was he D tier? I think he was D tier. That happened to you and makes you so mad, Sabs, yeah. <laughs> Molly, thank you so much for the follow. You've had the same experience for you. It's like your body chemistry just suddenly like gives up. Natural deodorant is so temperamental. You also went through that and they cost so much. I had to admit one, it was so nice. Oh, hi, Leah. What should I do in such a lazy, warm day? I mean, a warm, lazy day. Oh. Any ideas? You could be my girl. You want this? She likes it. <laughs> she likes it. Hello, tiny child. Shane's gone a lot and Aunt Marnie's busy all the time, so I have to invent my own games. I'm thankful for all my toys. Okay, that was cute. That was cute. She's thankful. Oh wait, I'm trying to see Shane. What am I doing? I have not, Anna, and we're trying not to do spoilers for 1.6. So if it's anything that happens after summer 20th, then I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Your cat stepped on the keyboard and did a comma. <laughs> Sam, thank you for the follow. No, I'm not trying to eat the pepper. I'm trying to go and see Shane. Hi, Shane. This is the final gift I'm going to give you before I ask you to be my BF. It looks like the pepper's in my hat. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Anna. Oh, wow, Jojo to Jonas. How'd you know this is my favorite? I think I might be gaining weight. Maybe it's all the beer. Okay. <laughs> now I need to buy a bouquet, which is obviously from... Pierre. That's the one thing I will let myself buy from Pierre though, because you can't- I don't think you can get it at Joe Jamate. I don't think so. So let's go grab one. Because are we now eight hearts? We are! yoo -hoo. He's gonna be our BF. Hee hoo hee hoo. Hi Abigail. Abigail. What's this? Elliot wants a hot pepper. Funny thing, Elliot. I just uh, passed it off to someone else. I should have brought a, should have brought a summer spangle for you. But do you want this? You're welcome. Do you ever take a day off? Sometimes. <laughs> Hi, Pierre. Give me this. Thank you. Goodbye. Can you hold up the glass bottle next to your face or a ruler? I'm confused at its size. It's a liter, so it's actually quite big. It's a liter big. <laughs> Kate, thank you for the follow. You appreciate the chicken collection behind me. Thank you. I appreciate everyone who sent them to me. <laughs> Very sweet. It's just something to do with the shorts themselves, Anna. Ooh, so we put them in the luau soup. Um, and then I'm planning on putting them in my Grange display as well. But I don't know if there's something else to do with them that I wouldn't discover on my own. Like, will I kind of discover it on my own or is it something I kind of need to know about? Yeah, it's really big, which I love because I drink so much water. So I'm happy to have a liter bottle. Oh, Shane! Is it just me or is the texture of the bouquet slightly different? That could that could be wrong, but I don't know. I think it looks a bit different. Is it always in a vase? Was it in a vase in 1.6? Hmm, I'm curious. You think it looks different too, right? Yeah. Hmm, a bit chunkier. Oh, Shane! I would never normally pick you. <laughs> oh, he's leaving. <laughs> to be fair, that was not a great way to start asking someone out. Shane, uh, uh, Shane, come back. <laughs> I would never normally pick you. The only reason I'm picking you is because we're doing a Joja run and chat voted for it. Um, <laughs> but would you want to be my boyfriend? 
I'll accept this, thank you. I wasn't really expecting this after all I've put you through. Aw, oh, Shane, we're gonna be so average together. Selene redeemed embarrassing photo. Oh no. <laughs> There's a way to get them back after finishing the quest without mods, bugs, or exploits, Anna. Ooh. You will regret his bedroom, but that's it. I am excited for the blue chickens. Buff Bella. You want more Buff Bella? Oh, no. <laughs> but isn't that like the opposite of an embarrassing photo? You know what I'm saying? You've been saving for days, Selene. <laughs> that's all I'll say unless you ask for more. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Buff Bella, I don't care. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, let me see what I've got. I've scrolled back to the end of my camera roll. <laughs> You've already decided which will be your next redeem and when. Oh gosh. Muscle mummy making a return. Oh no. Selene, for context, someone did embarrassing photo last week and I showed them an embarrassing one of me at like a fitness class and then the next one was me looking buff. So that's where that comes from. <laughs> uh, okay, let me see. What have I got? What have I got for an embarrassing photo? Let's see, let's see. Do I have much back here? That's me with a dog. That's not embarrassing. That's wonderful. <laughs> what are we gonna look at? Hmm. I really need to... <laughs> okay, this one's funny. <laughs> it's not a muscle mummy pic, I'm sorry. This is me <laughs> eating this like, so this is like a, this is basically vegan Nutella. It's absolutely delicious. And I discovered it as soon as I moved to the UK and it blew my goddamn mind. And so this is a photo I took to send like my family and friends of me enjoying it. And I just think it's such a funny photo. <laughs> Mmm, she enjoy her chocolate spread. It's so good. Oh, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> there you go. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> That's also Nakey Face Bella. Outstanding. Oliver's, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, Oliver on Clock App. Appreciate that. <laughs> I'm so in the zone. I love me some chalky hazelnut spread. Yeah, Nutella has milk powder, unfortunately, wild. Show stopping. Yeah. Honestly, there's milk powder in everything. It's just a bit of a meme that there's like a photo of broccoli and then it has in fine print milk powder. <laughs> so funny. There you go. Hope that was worth. Hope that was worth the lols for you. Mmm, delicious. Okay, now we can check this off the list. Oh, and check that off the list. Oh my god, we've checked everything off our to-do list. Thanks, now I want a jar of Nutella. And I don't know if anyone, everyone has heard me say before, my favorite thing to do with chocolate spread is to mix it in milk and drink it through a straw and it's like chunky bits of chocolate spread. It sounds weird. I promise, try it. <laughs> we've heard. Does that one taste like Nutella though? Yeah, it does. It actually does. And as someone who's like a Nutella connoisseur, I, it actually tastes very much like Nutella. And I love Nutella. I loved Nutella before I stopped eating Nutella. <laughs> Boba. Not a huge fan of me and seeing the stuff that aren't veg or vegan. Some of them are crazy, yeah. How's the derby treating you so far? I've found plenty of golden tags myself, but it's not over yet. I've only found two, Willie. Stop showing off. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we can find. Hopefully we get some more golden tags today. Yeah, well you can, there's like pretty simple hazelnut spread recipes that you can make at home where it's really just blending like cocoa powder and hazelnuts and sugar. Um, and they, are a very different taste though. I would say when I feel like eating like Nutella, I feel like eating something that doesn't taste particularly healthy. <laughs> but there are also very nice kind of healthy homemade versions. Come on, where's the golden ticket? You'd find more if you started earlier. Yeah, we're starting at 4 p.m. So it's great. <laughs> I had other things to do today. <laughs> yellow? Hmm? What's yellow? Tell me. The game mummy, hello, welcome back. How you doing? Welcome in. Are you using any mods, Ashlyn? You can check the link in bio over on Clock App and there's a document listing the mods I'm using. This is a 1.6 playthrough and we're just doing a couple of quality of life mods, but it's mostly vanilla. 
Coming from a household with a baker, cooker mum that likes homemade everything, most of these things are easy to make and taste better when you do it yourself. Oh no, I got distracted by chat. <laughs> like hazelnut spread, jam, peanut butter. Yeah, I feel ya. Uh, Tok Fire Opal, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. How's your day going? Hey, listen. Oh. Yes, how did everything go, Liana? Still have a couple more post operative checks. But she's like, oh my god, but she's doing well, right? She like, she's eating. Is she like eating and like, I know it's kind of gross, but like pooping and is everything kind of going normally? This is a cat, by the way, in case anyone's wondering. We've been keeping up to date with her progress of being unwell. Oh, 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 I <laughs> just, <laughs> my brain just went through so many steps. She's almost out of the woods. Oh, I'm so happy, Liana. I forgot that we got that upgrade, that book thing that we found that lets you fish up um, row. God, that's so good before having a fish pond. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's going well. Thank you so much. What do you prefer to be called? Fire? Opal? Talk? Feel free to let us know and share your pronouns if you would like to. Yes, all good in terms of pooping and peeing. Oh, so good. I'm so glad, Liana. Yeah, still thinking of the baby, of course. Had so much fun watching you and Claire. Wait, me and Claire? Who? <laughs> you never said your pronouns. She slash they. Thank you for sharing, Anna. Clay? Oh, right. Gotcha, gotcha. Venora and Clay? Whoa. That's good. I popped in before I started stream. Looked like a fun time. Come on, give me more trout. Still no golden ticket. Hello? Hello? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I definitely want to stream some multiplayer Stardew at some point. Keep an eye out. Keep an eye out in the maybe not too distant future for something, maybe, potentially. We'll see. <laughs> I think I'm sick of this hat now, by the way. I need a new hat. I need a new hat. Yalla, please give golden tickets. I want more prizes. Does this happen once a year in summer? Does anyone know this trout derby? I assume so. I assume. Minerva's resentful because they shove something up her butt. Oh, baby. I'd be resentful too. Whoa. Come here, fishy fishy. You didn't get that hat. Didn't learn about it till the, the day after. Oh no, until after the day. I'm sure she'll forgive you. There we go. I mean, like, we've got another golden ticket. Let's see. Once a year. Two days in summer every year. Gotcha. Thank you. Ooh, triple shot espresso. Nice. Love me some coffee. This is fun. I feel like a few of these new 1.6 events give you stuff that you wouldn't normally get until like much later. You know what I mean? What? what? Bro, hello? Calm down, Pike. No one cares about you. I'm here for the trout. Cheesy peepers. <laughs> the pipe's just jealous it's not a pike derby. Honestly. Calm your farm, buddy. We're not here for you. Is this expanded at 1.6? This is 1.6, Liana. We're done with our expanded run now. So we just have the 1.6 run Monday, Wednesday, and then our randomizer run Tuesday, Thursday, which is chaos. I know a pike when I see it. <laughs> Pikes are punks, honestly. Absolute punks. Come on, more trout. More trout, more trout. Let's go. Oh, oh no, that's a pike. That's a bloody pike if ever I've seen one. Excuse me, can you please go away? <laughs> no, no, I don't need you. I'll just catch you so you leave me alone. There we go. You're reaching your one because you min-max the night market deep sea fishing with teleporting and stuff. Ooh, did you like catch a bunch of those fish and then sell them? That's a good strat. Whoa. Oh. No golden ticket, bugger. Zelena, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate that. You're gonna have to start a new save. You open your OG and loads of things started happening. Yeah, you have to. If you are doing 1.6, concerned a- Oh, that guy just caught a trout. Good for you, buddy. Um, Concerned Ape recommended starting a new save, even though you don't have to, but I feel like when so much stuff happens in like specific seasons and I don't know, I just feel like it makes sense to start a new one. Come on. 
You open your old save and it was fine. I think it's fun to start from scratch. But at least you can play in an old save if you want to. Excuse me, give me treasure. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, now I have to catch this bloody pike just so the treasure... <laughs> just so we get the treasure. This punk. Meow, meow, meow. There we go. You also maxed your fishing before so it was easy with bait, bob bait bobbers and buffs. Oh my, that's hard to say. Ooh, another mystery box. Hell yeah. So rich. Your old save was bugged. The Dwarven translation guide was just gone and you couldn't fix it. That's so weird, Meg. Jeez. Cheesy peepers. Oh, this could be a trout or it could be a chub. Let's see. It's a trout. Come on. I want one more golden ticket and then I think I'll call it a day. Fair enough, Patabo. One more golden ticket. You deleted all your old saves. Oh my gosh. Goodbye. <laughs> Give me. Whoa. I looked away from the screen. Give me fishy. Yoo-hoo. Yoo-hoo. Fish fash. Fish fash fosh. <laughs> Very brave, yeah. <laughs> yeah, starting fresh is definitely nice. I get like reinvigorated by a fresh save. It just just does something, you know? Before I started streaming Stardew, I was definitely the kind of player who would play for like two years and then start a new farm. Play for two years, start a new farm. So streaming has really forced me to get further in the game, which is good. Since we hit perfection in our first playthrough. You'll do a Jojo run after you hit perfection. Nice. I just can't wait to get that steam achievement. Oof. It's going to be a beautiful day. <laughs> oh, we just finished our expanded run like two weeks ago, Anna. So good. Whoa. Whoa. It's another pike. It's a pike named Mike. Hey, Mike. <laughs> I'm not here for you, pal. No worries. You're only doing Jojo Run for the Steam Achievement? Yeah. You have to redo a lot of your Steam Achievement because you weren't connected to the cloud when you achieved them. No. That's so sad. Oh my god. I just got so many bites and missed all of them because I was reading chat. Ah! Excuse me. Yoo-hoo. You wish ads would play now while I was AFK so I wouldn't have to worry about it. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool. Oh, there we go. We'll level up. That's nice. It'd be, oh, it'd be kind of cool if you could like choose, like you'd have to watch a certain amount of ads per stream, but as a viewer, you could like pick when they played. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> um, What is this? Okay. Jewels of the Sea. Reading this book again will grant some fishing experience. Ah, so this is the same book that we fished up before that lets us catch row when we get treasure chests. But if you get it again, it gives you fishing experience. That's good though. That's good that it's not just like useless the second time around. And I guess that little hand icon means it's been read. You can save it and trade it. If you don't want to reread, I can trade it. What does that mean? <gasps> okay, maybe I'll keep it then. Ooh, interesting. Okay, I'll hold on to it. Because I haven't, I haven't done much with the bookseller yet, so. Let's do it. Let's save. Let's save that bad boy. Okay, let's try. I just want one more golden ticket. Come on. Come on. Manifesting. Manifesting a golden ticket. Manifesting. <laughs> please, please, please. No, that's a chub. That's a bloody chub. Give me a golden ticket or I will kick over your tent. Okay, I think this is a trout. Good. Good start, good start. Oh, come on. <laughs> it can be traded for specific items. That one is jelly. Oh, so if you're not, yeah. if you're okay on not that. getting that, you might as well reread. Jelly, ah, oh, okay. I don't know if I care about jelly. Welcome back, Meg. Welcome back. Okay, this is a trout again, I believe, potentially. You want to give us a golden ticket, buddy? That's not a trout, that's a bream. 
the heck am I on about? Come on. Come on. Here, trouty, trouty, trouty. Here, trouty, trouty, trouty. Oh, hi, Fifi. Is it dinner time yet? So close, buddy. 20 minutes till dinner time. You got this. <gasps> Fifi's good luck. As soon as Fifi came in the door, we fished up a golden ticket. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Fif. You brought the Queen of Sauce book, but you already knew all the recipes, so you wasted the money. Oh no. Okay, let's throw away the wood. Get ourselves the golden ticket. That's a golden tag, <laughs> not a golden ticket. Ooh, quality sprinkler. Wait, but my inventory is full. Uh oh. Oh, we still got it. Wait. Is my. Wait. Wait a second. My inventory's not full. Okay, I'll take a quality sprinkler. That's pretty good at this stage in the game, I would say. Oh, that's pretty good. You didn't even register what the description said. You were so excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard not to just read the book straight away because they're such a novel thing. Get it? A novel thing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Someone take away everything I love. <laughs> Two out of ten. <laughs> You're such a harsh critic, Wild. <laughs> Negative 6,000. So harsh, gang. So harsh. <laughs> okay, let me save this and this. And then just press a little bit of that. Oh my god, this is going to be good money, though. Look at all these fish. Dang. I never really focused that hard on fishing, so... Um, I'm actually quite happy for that for that early game fishing money, you know? We'll keep this on us. We're not gonna do any more fishing this episode. As far as I'm concerned. This, I guess, we'll keep on us. When's the bookseller in town next? Next week, so I might, might as well just keep this in here and just see if we feel like trading it. And if not, we can just, um, we can just read it. I was gonna say eat it. Do not eat the fishing book, Bella. <laughs> do not. <laughs> Uh, okay, what are we going to need for tomorrow? I want to go mining because our pickaxe should be done tomorrow, right? Is it tomorrow? Let's see. No, two days. God damn it. Two days. Gosh darn it. Okay, we might do some farm clearing then tomorrow. Okay, it's midnight. We didn't um, pat the chickens today, which is illegal. We can't pat them now, it's too late, but we can at the very least get their eggs. <laughs> thank you, MG. Thank you, thank you. Wait, what's happening in chat? What's going on? Um, hello, CT. How you doing on Clock Out? Welcome in. What, what, what's happening? What's going on? Coda, Fifi, you've been kidnapped. Come with us. You hate everything I love. I'm upset. One of the ads was too cringe. It had a dab on no. Please, Coda, blink twice if you need help. I've been blinking since last time you said that. I'm sorry, I can't afford a flight. That book is a Willy loved gift. Oh, that's cute, Nat. You're in VC with your partner and friends. They said something weird right when I caught a chub and I was like, wow, I just got a chub. And they were like, ah, uh, sus, you shouldn't do that in a call. Oh no, that's funny. By the way, though, flights from where I lived um, to Edinburgh are cheaper than flights to your hometown in Canada. What? <laughs> that's insane. All books were added as love books, loved gifts for Penny. That's so sweet. What the heck? Let's sell that. The fences that come with the farm decay. Yeah, that's what I thought, Bubba. Uh, Laura Jane, thank you so much for the follow. I love Stardew too. It's such a good game, hey? It would be easier for me to visit you than my father. It's a sign, Wild. It's a sign. Um, let's pop that there. Um, what is it? It's 1 a.m. I feel like, what was I about to do? I think there was something I was about to try and do. Oh, well, it's too late. <laughs> oh, I was gonna I was gonna say we should fix the fences. Let me just put it on my to-do list. Fix coop fences. There we go. There we go. Dad. <laughs> no worries, Anna. Ooh, let's freaking go. Level eight farming. We got the keg. Oh. And level seven fishing, the cork bobber, and the treasure hunter. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, it's called the to-do list, Laura. It's so useful. Coda can ask for his blessing. 
<laughs> Wait, Coda can ask Wild's dad for his blessing? What, to marry Wild? <laughs> True, you know, two birds, one scone. That's the way to do it. <laughs> okay, let's harvest. Let's harvest some stuff. Oh dear. <laughs> let's grab this. There's no way we're gonna get enough like get honey in this season. Let's just take those. Let's put all those away. Shane, we can gift again and get good hearts. We might even be able to um, ask Shane to marry us in this episode. Wouldn't that be exciting? Wouldn't that be a thrill? Okay, let's sell those. Let's put the seeds away. Goodbye. Let me get my watering can for the kitty. The kitty kitty. Okay, tomorrow is mining day then. <laughs> no worries, Meg. Hi, Chester. Good morning, sweet kitty. Oh, Willie's selling some new rods. Exciting. And Pierre is selling bouquets. I'm way ahead of you, bro. Way ahead of you. <laughs> Shane's already my BF. Okay, let me bring some wood with me and check um, how many fences we need to repair at the coop. At the coop. Welcome back, Anna. And Boba. Okay, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my god. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. What? Seventeen, eighteen. Oh my god, almost all of them are destroyed. What the heck? <laughs> that was a self goose. <laughs> Laura Jane, what's your favorite female character to date? I think it actually might be Haley. Only because I married her in my perfection run and she has some really, really sweet late game cutscenes. So I would never have said that in the past, but she's up there now. She's up there. You're offended by decay. Fences are so unnecessary. I feel like they never wander that far. I think mine wander really far. Your favorite is Haley as well, Laura and Maya. Yeah, she's ended up being up there for me for sure. Um, okay, fences, it's two per, so let's just make that many, see how we go. When you start a mod run, I'm gonna add a mod that stops fence decay, that's fair. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I like got the fen the it got the gate back, which is quite nice. Bing bang bong. I just like how the fence looks. It's cute. Oh, oh no. Can I get that back? Yeah, I can. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. <laughs> Let's go here. Oh, oh my god. Why do I keep misplacing these fences? Come on, it's not that hard. <laughs> Have you never built a fence before, Bella? Come on. I mean, Jojo jo jo Jonas? Not Bella. I'm Bella. Okay, bing, bang, bong. Bing, bang, bong. Building a fence for my chicken family. Such a good little farmer. Even though I'm doing an evil Jojo run. Let's unalive this tree. Your perfection run's gonna be a primary save. I just wanna complain about how hard it is to find furniture that isn't completely in the popular trends and just looks normal. Like maybe I want a normal table. You sound like Wild ranting in his sim stream the other day. <laughs> about not always wanting things that are on trend. <laughs> Which I honestly agree with. Very valid rant. Bella, based on your knowledge and experience, have you ever heard of Brixie Shampoo? Never ever. What is it? We probably have different brands though. Oh, oh, hello? Ho hello? There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, that I guess is all of the fencing that we can do. Is that an extra fence that I accidentally put there? <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay, there we go. We're good, we're good. The fence has been restored. How exciting. How exciting. Uh, I think I read you don't have to cut down the decayed, you can just put the new fence over it. Ah, uh, whoops, too bad. <laughs> too late. Don't worry, it's probably a lie. Bella agreeing with Wild. <laughs> this is year one. We're just summer year one. You're doing a villain run? Yeah, I mean, this is kind of my villain run since I'm doing Joja and I've never done a Joja run before. So here we are. Here we are. Okay, let me put this in here. Um, what are we gonna do today then? It's the 22nd. If we can't go mining, 
What are we going to do? Maybe we just do some clearing of the farm because it's getting a little out of control. Let's do some clearing. I also- oh, there is more fences up here. God damn it. I also really want to start a tree farm, so maybe we can do that. Okay, now I can do the thing- now I can do the thing that Ryu said. Where I can just place the fences instead of breaking the old ones. Uh, Andrew, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Uh, I want something that's between Sims and Stardew. I like- I play Sims and Sims do Stardew things. That would be cute, Anna. I've seen some people do like a Stardew Valley kind of run in the Sims. <laughs> Um, let me see, let me see. Thrift stores, marketplace, yeah. Just popped up on your Amazon feed, said it's a shampoo and conditioner bar, vegan plastic three. Plastic three? Plastic free. Yeah, I used, um, I've used shampoo and conditioner bars in the past and they can work quite well, it depends on the brand, but I've definitely had more success with natural, like, packaging free shampoo than I have with the deodorant, to be honest. <laughs> three plastics only. <laughs> Okay, let me <laughs> let me get that. Pop this in here. Even the trees are plastic nowadays. <laughs> Knock off mean girls, yeah. The conditioner is flammable? What? There we go. It does work to just place them. Uh, not there though. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, that's good to know. Good to know. Makes sense. No way it's flammable. That's wild. Right. I gotta be careful here then. Cause you know, did you know that the very first ever firefighters slash like fire station was in Scotland? Isn't that cool? Is it cause the Scots are so hot? Oh. <laughs> R R R R R. Okay, let me smelt some more iron. I think, and maybe a bit of gold as well. I knew I was Scottish. <laughs> Uh, needed to go again, decided to heck and I'm just going to switch to watching on my phone because this is ridiculous. Welcome to phone watching. Did you know Doritos are flammable? No way. You can use them as kindling. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh dear. In ancient Rome, hoses were fashioned from... Ugh, Boba. Brother, ugh. <laughs> That's interesting, my fiance is a member of the brigade in his company and he does use conditioner. Will he explode? Tune in next time to learn if Nat's husband, I mean fiance, explodes before he has a chance to become husband. <laughs> Brother, <ugh. laughs> who's gonna tell him? Okay, let's do some clarage. Some clarage. And then tomorrow we mine. We mine! Yeah, we uh, we cross our fingers and toes for Nat's fiance. Not exploding. Okay. <clears throat> oh no. Not the intestines. Oh yeah, so this is our little cute tree stump area. <clears throat> Not before he has a chance to become husband, please. It's been so long planning this wedding. Gosh, I can't even imagine. Planning a wedding must just be so intense. So much to do, hey? Let's just make the farm look a little cute. Just because we're a filthy capitalist scumbag doesn't mean we can't have a cute farm, you know? <laughs> you know? Oh, where should we have our tree farm, actually? Yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting history. <laughs> Very interesting history of that particular item. Let's make it so cute. Oh dear, Boba, that's unfortunate for her. I mean, if it works, I guess. <laughs> you must be really desperate. Wait, can I break these big logs now? Ah, I can. Nice. Love that for us. I just like to go back and forth. <laughs> For some strange reason. Beautiful. Toads, Anna? I've heard of using like a bag of wheat seeds and then if it germinates it means you're pregnant. But I have not heard of toads. <laughs> I'm disturbed. Sounds like a witchy poo thing to me. <laughs> oh, oh, 
the energy is low, but the morale is high. And ain't that all that matters? Planning a real wedding must be a nightmare. We'll only have a ceremony and I already have a daily headache. Oh, so you haven't, um, you're not doing a, a reception. Off to look after my baboos. Bye, Liana. Big love. Oh my god, Anna, what the heck? <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> it's a very interesting uh, topic of conversation in the chat. <laughs> wow, our farm's gonna be so cleared. Oh, uh oh. Need more energy already. Excuse me. Res no, no reception, only ceremony. Maybe go somewhere to eat with family and close friends. <laughs> Thank you, OG, for the quote. Hey, Rain, welcome in. How you doing? You both agree you have better uses for your money. That's so valid. Like, the amount of money people spend on weddings, I'm just like, you mean I could travel the world for like six months with that money? <laughs> Hello. How's your day? How was your weekend? Tell us all the things. Whoa. I need a new hat. I think I'm gonna go and grab my little straw hat. I just think. I think I'm done. I feel like we're done with the Irish aesthetic. Or maybe my party hat. Back to the Joja vibe. A perfect message for Rain to be welcome to. Don't worry about what's going on in chat, Rain. Nothing, nothing weird. <laughs> nothing weird at all is happening. Everything's normal. Everything is normal. The price of a mini wedding here is more than the down payment for an apartment. What? Honestly, the wedding industry is such a sham. It's so freaking like capitalized. Does that make sense? That probably doesn't make sense. <laughs> Gonna watch while my mom's in the gym, then I'm off to go swimming. No worries, Red Kitty. Just the usual chat, yeah. Just the usual shenanigans. <laughs> Um, what was I about to do? Oh, uh, let's have a look and see if we can do a little tree farm. Yeah, we got plenty of seeds now. Last time I mentioned it, we didn't really have enough seeds, but... Okay, if we're gonna do a tree farm, we could do it here, because you can't, you can't plant crops on this, so maybe that would be a good use. And we've already got a uh, pine tree here, so why don't we do a little farm right here. A tree tappy sappy farm. And then we'll do this. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. It's gonna be so beautiful. Lovely. And then here. Do do do. Da da ding. Da da da. There we go. And I don't think we. Oops, I planted that one in the wrong spot. My bad. I don't think we have tree um, fertilizer yet, unfortunately. Let me double check. Do we? Do we have tree fertilizer? No, we do not. Oh well. You're so right about weddings. My sister had a wedding with 15 guests total and it was still so expensive. Oh my god. You're happy there's no 1.6 spoilers today waiting patiently for Switch update? Oh, that, that means that I don't want anyone in chat to spoil it for me, Kate. Unfortunately, it doesn't mean, Katie, it doesn't mean that I, that doesn't mean that there aren't any spoilers in the stream. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Sorry for the miscommunication. Um, why Mish? Thank you so much for the follow. Okay, gotta go. No stress. Uh, we'll see you next time. I'm just doing randomizer on Tuesday and Thursday in case you want to hang out. I'm glad you guys no, appreciate my weird there. facts. Yeah, we love weird facts here, Anna. Don't worry. Weekend was great, Rain. You got started on your garden and finished up plans for your trip to NYC. Ooh, are you doing like a food garden, Rain, or like a, a pretty garden? You're so tired and the room is so warm. You could fall asleep. You're more than welcome. Drift off. You're only going to die when you find out how many people were invited to my wedding. Oh my god, I'm kind of scared to ask. <laughs> Tell SMG. How many? <laughs> Your parents wanted you to have a big one, so they paid for most of it. Oh, that's so helpful. That's so helpful. My parents could never. <laughs> yes, Bobber is the king of nice bags, hey. He already accidentally fell asleep for a sec in weather spoons. Wow, you must be sleepy, hey. Yeah, hundred percent, Anna. I used to work in sustainable fashion, so I've got I've got the uh, the diamond knowledge. <laughs> We are talking about weddings. 800 invites, MG. Good lord. Veggies and flowers, Rain. That sounds lovely. 
Um, Anna, an invisible woman, thank you so much for the follows on Clock App. Appreciate that. I appreciate. So much cheaper. Wait, what'd you say? Yeah. Moissanite. So much cheaper, sparklier, and more ethical. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how's my energy? Not good. Let me eat something. Let me eat a little squish, squash, squash. I love squash. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Let's do that. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum. Okay, I feel like we've done some good clearing. Oh, you know what I haven't looked at is my mushroom cave. Let's have a squiz. That's so good, MG. I love the 1.6 update, Invisible Woman. Oh my goodness. Also, I don't know why I can see you. <laughs> Do I have some superpowers that let me see invisible people? Dang. Yeah, I love it. It honestly feels modded. It's so cool. You don't really have that there, the precious stone engagement ring. Thank God your engagement ring will be your wedding ring and it's just 300. Oh, that's so good. Who's getting married? <laughs> Nat's getting married. MG got married. We're talking about what a sham weddings are. There's a lot going on. There's always a big topic of conversation, isn't there? <laughs> each chat, each time. Um, where am I keeping my mushrooms? In here, okay. A morel. Ooh, I need that in my randomizer save. God damn it. <laughs> I keep getting them in the wrong save file, the things that I need. Let's sell that and let's put this in here. In here. And then let's get back to clearing. Do do do. The band is white gold. Cute. I'm a rose gold girly for sure. These days. <laughs> uh, Limsy says you have a ton of veggies to get in. You feel so behind. Oh. Some of them do better like later in the season. Hey, so you should still get a decent amount. My I planted a bunch of like seeds on my little windowsill garden but then we got our dog like right as I planted them and I was just so distracted with having a new dog and being a furrant <laughs> and like house training him and stuff that I did not water them enough and they're not sprouting so I'm thinking of buying just some like some seedlings do, do you know what I mean like they're already already growing so that I don't have to stress about getting them to sprout from a seed another mystery box Watching this to struggle through year one keg grind. Because you managed to plant star for year one. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot we got the keg recipe. Hey, oh my god, we should definitely make some. Oh, we don't have any oak resin yet. That's why I planted a tree farm. F-U-R-E-N-T. A little furrant. <laughs> you love rose gold, but you're worried it would be a trend. Fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Your birthday is in November. Oh, you're waiting to pick an apartment before setting the date, but you'll get married before your birthday. Cute. Hello, Fifi. Did you have your dinner? He's here licking his lips. <laughs> he had his dinner five minutes ago. Was that good? <laughs> I love that he always comes in to tell me that he had dinner. Did you have dinner? You do stink. You smell like... He just burped. Did you hear that? <laughs> He smells like fish. Oh god. So funny. It's your first time starting from seed rain. You always get the plants. You got this. You got this. You wanted rose gold, but it was too cool toned. Interesting. We need a burp command. Oh gosh. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we could train him to burp on command. He is a gassy boy. <laughs> You got this, it's our second year going from sea just to late season because of all the rain. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> B. Ein, I just started gardening IRL. It's very rewarding. I, where I lived in Sydney before I moved to Scotland, we had a communal veggie garden for the whole block of flats that I lived in. And I was one of the like main people to like plant and look after and stuff. And we did it from building the garden beds all the way through to harvesting like tens of what I say is zucchini. You might call them courgette. Um, tons of green beans, um, tomatoes. Oh my God. It was incredibly rewarding. And that was my first real time like planting from seed and growing stuff. It's very, very cool. Yeah, rose gold's lovely. <clears throat> I tell my BF I'm playing in the dirt whenever I'm doing gardening stuff. Oh, you should send out like a mass email and see if people want one. Um, Mr. Mambi, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome to the pack. How's your day going? Hope it's wonderful. 
Okay, let's go to sleep and then tomorrow we pick up our pickaxe and do some mining, baby. I'd have to record one of his burps for Tabo. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> nothing happened. This is definitely the first time we're playing this day and I'll hear nothing else about it. And in fact, we can start the day better because we can put on our straw hat. <laughs> this is the first time we've played day 23 of summer. Woohoo! <laughs> nice bag. <laughs> nice bag. Okay. Today is going to be mining day. So we're just going to do our farm chores and then go pick up our pickaxe and gift our boy Shane on the way. And it's going to be beautiful. I'm doing good, Hamilton. Thank you. <laughs> that was something. Yeah. You could do a just mango smoothie. That reminds me of there's like an Indian drink called a mango lassi and it's like mango and yogurt and they're absolutely delicious. Love a mango lassi me. You said tomorrow is storm. Hmm? Storm? <laughs> okay, let's put those. And then let's put these. And then what do we end up doing? We ended up grabbing food, hey? Also love a lassie. Yeah, love a lassie and a lassie. Hi, Ambi. Welcome in. How you doing? How's your day going? Okay, let's get what we need for the mines. The mines, the mines. We can do a little watering of the kitty. Let's put these away. That's not a way that goes. No, no, no. We do this. We do... Hello, Chester. Oh, I did not mean to hand you a tent. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Chester. My bad. I'd upgrade watering can while picking up pickaxe myself if the next day is stormy. Am I weird for that? No, not weird at all. Um, I just am not like prioritizing watering can because we got all of our sprinklers this season now. So not as fussed as I would be. I'm good. Just finished works waiting for bus. I'm very well. Thank you. Chester does have a hat. He has a little um, green bow. It's very cute. Yeah, I hope your work day was good, Ambi. Okay, should we? Should we? Should we? Should we? Should we? I don't know. Should we? Wait, tell me. Okay, good. I already had planted my tree farm the day before. I was going to say, tell me I don't have to replant my tree farm, but we're all good. I think we really just did some farm chores. Yeah. It was great. Got lots of cuddles. Wait, what do you do for work again, Ambie? Remind me. Oh, is it daycare? Am I remembering that correctly? Cuddles are nice. We love cuddles. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Cuddle people as a job. Some people do that. Some people are like professional cuddlers. Which, honestly, sign me up. <laughs> oh, you work in the baby room. That's so cute. When I was in Australia in February, I went with my cousin to drop off my nephew at his daycare. And it was just like, I don't know, it was just such an emotional experience just handing the baby off to a stranger. <laughs> but they seemed to be very, like, compassionate and, like, they were going to take really good care of him. So it was OK. <laughs> um, OK, what else did we do? Was my mushroom log ready today? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, Anna. Oh yeah, that's right. We got our our jam finished, I remember. And then was this ready? Yes, it was. Okay, so let's grab those for food. Yoink. And then let's refill those and then we'll go and see old mate. Old mate Clint, the uh, GTFO tier <laughs> Stardew Valley character. Uh, refill. We've got a couple of straws and a chili and then a gold pepper for Shane. You know what? The good thing about being forced to restart your day is that you're way more efficient. <laughs> so I'm going to take it as a blessing in disguise. Okay. Now, is Shane on his way to... Yeah, he's on his way to Joja. We got this. You worked at a daycare and you had special new rules that came down where you weren't allowed to touch the kids. And like they were all four to ten, which is the age that they seek out that kind of stuff. The amount of times I had to pull children off me wasn't fun. Wait, how are you meant to run a daycare without being able to make physical contact with the children? What the heck? You feel sick today and you don't know why, but you remembered you took the flu shot on Saturday. Yeah, that would um, that would do it. Hey. Steel pickaxe! <laughs> you read sewers. <gasps> Not sewers. <laughs> Clint is creepy, but I have a soft spot for him because he seems a little genderqueer. Aww. You'd put him at A tier. Hey, Jaina, welcome in. 
Oh, D tier. Okay. I was going to say from GTFO tier to A tier is a big leap. <laughs> I love that Lil was in the auto mod, yeah. Hey Shane, okay, so what are we at now? We're at eight and like almost a half. You're welcome, Shane. He's hard at work. He doesn't want to talk to me, but I'm his GF. What the heck, Shane? <laughs> We're in love. Why would you not talk to me? Okay, it's, uh, it's, getting, it's, getting, it's getting good, but we cannot get him to 10 hearts in time for the storm tomorrow tragically you put clint at c tier just because he upgrades my tier my my tears he upgrades my tears <laughs> i put him at gtfo which is below d tier we actually did the stardew ranking at the start of stream today <laughs> that was so weird i don't know why lil was auto modded you upgrade my tears daily bella you're so welcome wild Okay, now we mine, baby. We mine. <laughs> the only reason he's on the list at all is because he upgrades tools. Yeah, true. True that. I'm actually kind of cold. I just got my blankie, but I'm still cold. We got... <laughs> Fifi is allowed on the couch, and we got, like, a blanket to put over a certain part of the couch that he can, like, hang out in, right? Um, but I ordered the blanket on line and i clearly did not pay attention to the measurements because it's like small <laughs> it's small baby blanket but ironically it actually kind of fits the part of the couch he's allowed to sit on quite well so he can have it but it is forest green it's a beautiful like well emerald forest green fluffy blanket and he just looks so beautiful against it <laughs> if you know you know we're a very green family okay we mine. Oh, we're already on a hundred. Goodness me. Ah, uh, you're really sleepy, but you have work. Oh no, that's the worst. That's the worst. Oh no, Wild, your bones are cold. <laughs> Let's see if we can get down, baby. Get down. We could even, what are we, 11 a.m. Can we get to the bottom of the mines today or is that a little ambitious? That might be a little ambitious. If we can get to 110, I'll be happy. I will be happy with a 110. Oh, I thought that was a slime with a gold thing on its head, but it is in fact just gold. It's just gold. Yeah, that's exactly right, Bobba. That's exactly right. I'm also rethinking my Friday stream, so I'll probably post an announcement about that in the Discord sometime soon. They might just look a little different and be less frequent. You made a vampire Stardew Valley character? Wait, how? <laughs> that sounds amazing. How have vampire in Stardew? Let's get these rocks. Pale skin, red eyes, dark clothes. <laughs> it sounds like him. Black hair. Nice. Why the heck are multivitamin gummies so yummy? To encourage you to eat your vitamins. <gasps> is that new? That is new. Dang. That's a nice pickup. You might take a little nap after my meeting because I'm not feeling my best right now. Fair enough, Nat. Go rest your bones. Him mention. A female Sebi. Cute. <laughs> It'd be cool if you could get a mod where you can just go around drinking the blood of the Stardew Valley NPCs. And that's how you get your energy and health back. <laughs> I wonder if that exists. I feel like there's a mod for basically everything in this game, so it honestly wouldn't surprise me. You shouldn't eat more than two a day though. <laughs> ODing on vitamins. Look out. Look out, baby. Sometimes you're scary with your wants. That's true. That's true. Even in real life. Woo! Not gonna elaborate. <laughs> Oh, depends on the vitamin, hey? Some of them are just like water soluble and you just pee them out. But depends on the vitamin. <laughs> I personally don't want to do that, but if one were to want a vampire mod, <laughs> then it could be cool. <laughs> okay, let's find this ladder. Hello, shadow person. Oh, ouchie. Ouchie, wow, wow. Oh, oh, nope. I did not mean to type in the chat. Why is in the chat? <laughs> Joe Jonas says, why? 
Whatever you say, giraffe. Yeah, vampire dreams. If Jade was here, she would fully support a vampire mod. <laughs> Thank you for the whys. Why, why, Lattestall? What are you playing on stream today, Wild? There's a mod called- there's a mod. I can't speak today. There is a mod called Bat Form that lets you turn into a bat. That's the closest you could find. It's on Nexus. No way. That's so cool. <laughs> Stardew evil. Him, him mention. Hey Pixie, welcome in. Whoa. My screen's been stuck on back soon this whole time. I didn't realize you were back. Oh no, Rain. I'm back, I'm back. I'm here. We manin'. I can't help you there. This is my job, Nat. <laughs> this is my, oh my God. <laughs> This is my job. You found a weird mod that turns Emily and Haley into vampires and gives them personality. Oh, my Sims run needs a break because y'all are ruthless. No, I'm here for a while. I want to see you do some actual gameplay. I want to see you find a wife. Farmer wants a wife. Oh, hello. Oh, Bobba. Is it accurate? That's my question. <laughs> is the globe accurate? <laughs> Did the update do much for Jojo runs? Yeah, Mr. Mummy, that's one of the reasons I'm doing a Jojo run as my first 1.6 playthrough. One, because I want the Steam achievement and two, because apparently there's a fair amount of like late game Jojo content. So that's why I'm doing it. Ooh, we got a mining book. How exciting. Too zoomed out. <laughs> Damn, Bella wants to see me succeed. Of course, what do you mean? Look. Mining monthly. Read this to gain some mining experience. Don't mind if I do. And I leveled up from it. Huh. Not bad, eh? Not bad. You always imagine Haley and Emily were just a little gay, but in hindsight, are they sisters? Yes, they are. They are sisters. What is that? Hello? Nanny? Broccoli seeds? There's broccoli now. I can die happy. <laughs> I can die happy. I love broccoli. That's so nice. Well, well, broccoli is life. Broccoli is love. <laughs> Do you have to re-download and delete some of your mods when you change save files? I'm not sure what you mean. I'm not sure. Ooh. Hello, monsty. Okay, we should actually go up and empty our inventory quickly. Broccoli is very chef's kiss. Broccoli is very chef's kiss when it's made properly. When it's like overdone and mushy, it's not that good. But when it's done well, it can be really good. Really good. I love roasted like garlic broccoli. Oof, the flavors, when it gets a little bit burnt on the edges, mwah, delicious. Delicious, amazing. You've made a vote for game to play today if you want input. Ooh, garlic broccoli. Garlic anything. Garlic cream soup. Um, garlic cream soup. I mean garlic cream soup too. <laughs> broccoli cream soup. Air fried broccoli is the best. Close says. I can see that. I can see that. Oh, thank you for the hundred bits and the nerd nerd, Meg. <laughs> I appreciate that. You just had roasted broccoli. I love it. There you go. Charred broccoli or charred Brussels sprout. Brussels sprouts. Brussel. Garlic confit. Oops. Hang on. Discord took over my whole screen, so I can't read. Garlic confit is just amazing, says Polar Spotted Owl. Lovely username. Yeah. Agree. Agree. Right. I need to go vote in this VIPP. Very important poll. Wait, not VIPP, just VIP. What's wrong with me? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Um, wait, what am I going to vote for? Okay, I'm going to tie the vote. Oh, that's funny. VIPP. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> um, is there anything I can take out of here for like food? Yeah, let's take that out and put that in. There we go. There we go. 105. And I'm going to drink a coffee too. I feel like mining is a, a decent place to use a coffee. You're a proud broccoli hater, Meg. Oh my goodness. I think you're in the minority here. Yeah, garlic everything. I'm like, unfortunately, a little tum-tum sensitive to, <laughs> um, to, what's it called? That whole family. 
Is it aromatics? I'm trying to remember, like garlic, onion, shallots, that whole family of, of foods. Does that stop me from eating them? No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. But if I have too much, tum tum, big cry. <laughs> Thank you, Wild. Thank you. You did something silly, you forgot to get- forget- You forgot to get any of the recipes from the TV in year one, Anna. No, if you're trying to do perfection, that's so brutal. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, you can get the Queen of Sauce book from the bookseller. Yeah, that's true. You don't like any greens, Meg? Oh my god, greens are one of my favorite foods. Especially Asian greens. Oof. Like bok choy, pak choy, choy sam, gai lan. Oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. Wombok. Absolute. Absolute yes. I'm obsessed. I would eat greens all day every day if I could. If I could. What happened, Wild? Oh, you tried to add the quote? I think it's... I think it might be add quote one word, Wild. You don't enjoy veggies, you think it's a slight autistic thing though? Yeah, it could be like a texture thing, hey? Um, Jaina says, I shouldn't keep eating them, I will get worse with my allergy. Nah. <laughs> I don't want to live a life where I can't eat garlic. I just eat in moderation. <laughs> it seems to be okay. It seems to be okay. Um, you made an exquisite green tofu curry. Ooh. Was it spicy or not particularly? You got it, thanks MG. What days are the recipes and reruns? Oh gosh, you might have to Google the specific ones. Add quote one word, there we go. It's the texture. They're not always mushy when they're cooked, to be fair. If they're cooked well, they're not mushy, I would say, because I don't really like mushy veggies either. You've never had curry, Jaina. Oh my God, that's a whole world of flavor just waiting for you to explore it. You've never disliked veggies, to be fair, probably because the mains in your primary school were worse, so you ate my veg and left the rest. Not very spicy, green coconut sari with soft tofu. Love a sari. <laughs> oh, hello. You think you're lactose intolerant, you refuse to quit la lactose, so don't get worse. Something like 80% of the planet is um, lactose intolerant because it's just not really like a, n a normal thing to eat. But a lot of people develop tolerance to lactose. Like people are often born lactose intolerant, but then they eat it and develop tolerance. So, you know, you know, <clears throat> you really enjoy cooked veggies, but you don't like many raw. I love both raw, cooked, whatever, whatever it do be. You can't have scallops, clams or oysters or you'll unalive. Uh oh, <laughs> chug, you know the rest. I do know the rest. I do. <laughs> the dinner ladies in your primary school were lovely, but the mains were shite. They probably don't earn enough to make them particularly well, hey? You developed anti-tolerance to gluten. Oh, that's so sad. If a recipe doesn't have, oops, doesn't have garlic, I don't want it. Unless it's baking, even then, you know? You could make like garlic scones. That'd be delicious. You double the amount of garlic, yeah. <laughs> you can get very good dairy-free versions these days, Anna. As someone who hasn't had dairy for over 10 years, I promise you can get some really good alternatives. You're very allergic, oh no. You swear schools are paid to make food inedible. It's so rough though, because like that's the time when kids are like learning how to like have a good palate and like what's healthy to eat and stuff. Oh, we got space boots. That'll be better than our current ones. Hey, four and four. Yeah, nice, nice upgrade. Let's go dump our inventory, hey? You saw in NYC, they made garlic ice cream, honestly. Garlic everything. Garlic everything. Out of everything you've cut out of your diet, bread has been the hardest. Yeah, I can imagine. I don't know, there's really good oat milk these days. There's a brand called Oatly. Oh my God, I love Oatly. It's delicious. They have gar a garlic garlic festival. No way. That's so funny. There's actually this one brand in the UK, I can't remember what it's called, but they make they make uh, an alternative milk that is designed to taste specifically like cow's milk, whole cow's milk, and it smells so much like cow's milk, I can't drink it. Like, it's just like, but <laughs> but but Oh my god, Jaina, what the heck? Almond milk makes you happy. <laughs> Your niece just started school and called you the first day and said they tried to feed her a yucky lunch. Oh no. 
When you first started school, Meg, the food was amazing, but after a year, they took everything good off the menu. That's rude. It's incredibly rude of them. Okay, we have like a bajillion mushrooms in our inventory, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We keep spelunking. The closest is oatmeal, but it still just tastes like old oats. I love it. I love it. A little bit of oat milk, me. Let me consume this. Garlic festival sounds incredible. <laughs> Should we all just go to a garlic festival together? Community garlic festival meetup? That sounds wonderful. Sounds bloody wonderful. Wait, what did you type, Nat? <laughs> garlic festival sounds like my dream garlic. <laughs> Nat's got garlic on the brain. <laughs> Must be garlic on the brain that's got me feeling this way. <laughs> oh, too funny. You miss croissant? They got you all tested for food poisoning, oh my god. Food was good in your elementary school, but then they added health guidelines that made them use reduced fat things and it was never the same. Hello, Lil Planty. Thank you so much for the raid. Hello, raiders. Welcome in. Planty Raid, here to blossom your day. Oh my goodness, I'm feeling blossomed. <laughs> Hello, welcome in. How you doing? Thank you so much for popping in. What were you up to? Were you playing Stardew? Tell me. Give me the details. <laughs> Rainbow Zombie, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the pack. Uh, if anyone doesn't know me, my name is Bella. My pronouns are she, her, and we play mostly cozy games like Stardew Valley on this channel. Full time, baby. <laughs> uh, if anyone needs to raid and run, please go look after yourself. If anyone wants to hang out, you are more than welcome. We'll be here for another 40-ish minutes. 40-ish. I don't know if we're going to get to one... We might get to 115 today. Let's see. Let's see. You were playing The Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge, but on Friday you're playing Stardew. Mad respect for attempting that challenge. I don't know if I ever could. One baby is hard enough in The Sims. <laughs> Hope you are having fun with it. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, easy game. Easy 115. Nah, we're not gonna get to 120, but. Um. Chi. Trogrogas. Not sure if I'm saying your name right. Just gonna say hi before I bike to my viewing spot. Ooh, enjoy. Yeah, it's almost eclipse time, hey? Willie, thank you so much for the follow. Opinion on Joja. I'm doing a Joja run just because I haven't done one before. I would never normally do it though. <laughs> You're all obsessed with Stardew at the moment. It's so good. Oh my god. The new update is just giving me life, honestly. Such a good time. Peanut butter and jelly cold sandwiches. Gosh. Thanks for the reminder about stream. Keep forgetting I need to refresh for the view to count. No stress. Thanks for coming back in. Come, let's see. What were you saying before the raid, gang? Vanilla milk is your favorite. It's so expensive, Meg. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's garlic. I feel like I'm justified. Yeah. <laughs> Blaming Jamie Oliver for everything. It's his fault. Schools don't do good food. I thought it was his fault. Schools do like more healthy food in the UK. Got to run for a bit, Bella. See you later. Likely wild stream. No worries for you. Thanks for all your hard work today. Appreciate you. We're supposed to have a full eclipse, but it's cloudy. No. Yeah. If anyone's in like North America, you're meant to be able to see a full eclipse. What in like, uh, depends on where you are in the States, I guess. But in like an hour for some of you? Or even, actually no, it might be like now-ish. It might be now-ish. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's already almost 1am. Maybe we should just head home. More healthy food is how everything went down the drain. Kids gotta eat well. You just play started playing Stardew with the update. You're so obsessed. I've been playing it for however long it's been out. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely love that the new update is like bringing new players, but also just like refreshing a lot of it for old hats. It's a good time. Okay, let me see what we want to take home. Obviously the globe, probably the hoe. We'll take the tent kit. Is that all right to take back? No, we need the copper. What can we leave? Let's leave the topaz, bring the copper. And that should be good for now. Okay, we got to 115. That's that's decent. I'm happy with that progress. One more mines day and we'll make it to the bottom. To the bottom of the mine, to the bottom of the mine. Within an hour or two? Hmm? What you talking about, Anna? What you talking about? Uh, let's put our geodes and 
stuff for the museum in there. Beautiful. This one we'll put there to sell eventually. Broccoli seeds I'm like unreasonably excited for. <laughs> Love broccoli me. You didn't know it was a one-man crew making this game. Honestly, so impressive. Hey, Rainbow. So impressive. All oh, right. Within an hour or two for you, it's in 23 minutes. Gotcha, gotcha. You're more motivated to do your Duke of Edinburgh award now that you know you're going to the Great Yorkshire Show again this year as a reward. That sounds so cool, Bubba. You should definitely do it. You go to your meeting now. No worries, Nat. Hope it goes well. Uh, okay, we have a globe, which we should clearly replace the lantern with. And then can we just pop the lantern down somewhere else, like here? Does that go there? There it goes. Okay, that's cute. That's cute. It's 1.40. Let's go to sleep. <laughs> Let's sleep, shall we? Oh, level six mining. Oh, we can make bombs. Love that. <laughs> That'll be cool, Jaina. Yeah. Bye, Nat. Thank you so much. See you next time. See you tomorrow, hopefully. Unfortunately, we can't see it from the UK unless you're in the very tip of like Ireland or Scotland. But other than that, it's not visible from here. Ooh, it's Willie's birthday and it's stormy. We can't gift Shane anything else this week, unfortunately. You're jealous of everyone getting to see the eclipse. Yeah, same. Right. Rightio, what have we got to harvest today? I think we should finish the mines today. I think that's a good goal. Should we give Willy a gift? You're in South Europe so you can't see it either. No. So sad. So sad. <clears throat> so tragic. I just was saying before, like every time there has been an eclipse and I've been somewhere you're meant to be able to see it, I still haven't been able to because the weather's been cloudy. <laughs> it just feels like such a ripoff when that happens. Uh, I'm on year one, Willy. Just year one summer. Excuse me, give me that, thank you. <laughs> That's fair, Bobba. There's two eclipses in Spain in the next 10 years. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's sell. Oh, I kind of want to keep that for the Grange display. Let's sell these. We've got a bunch of those already. Let's keep this though. Uh, do you play with mods, Rainbow? If you do, exclamation mark mods, I'll do it for ya. Um, I've got like a document there that shows which mods I use in each of my series that we do on stream. Um, in the 1.6 run, I basically just have a couple of quality of life mods that I just find it hard to play without these days, but nothing that kind of alters the gameplay because I want it to be, you know, experience the 1.6 in its in its fullness <laughs> you've seen two in your lifetime i can't remember if i've seen a f like a total eclipse before i think i've seen partial but maybe not total because i've lived in australia most of my life and I, I don't know it just seems like it's rare to be able to see it from down there for whatever reason um we could give willie a b-day gift i don't know if he loves does he like all fish i don't know i don't know you saw one in 2017 that's so cool. Uh, the same happened to you during the full blood moon last year. Everyone said it was beautiful and I was laid up in a hospital bed. No, Meg. I actually saw that one. That was visible from Edinburgh. We went up to the top of like a hill just outside the city um, and we saw it. It was absolutely beautiful. It was a stunning, stunning occasion. About seven years ago, you lived along the line of totality for that one. So you saw that one. Wow. You'll have your window open during stream so you'll be able to see my background go dark. That's so cool, Wild. <laughs> you were but a kid, now you're a whole ass adult. I feel that. Let's pop that there. Wait, we need to put this eggy away. Double eggies. Hi. Okay, that's what we did, right? Before we had to redo the day. Did we replace the fences? One, two, three, four, five six seven <laughs> they're all decaying so quickly now <laughs> okay let's fix those up uh only use the look up anything and chess anywhere fishing mod and a tractor one i haven't used yet i've seen the tractor one it's intense <laughs> very intense okay let's put away this i don't like anything that makes it feel like too like cheaty i would say it's more just like i don't know so i don't have to check the tv it's more things that make it more fun to watch on stream so it's a little bit less like repetitive daily stuff. 
Um, right. What are we going to do today? We could do a, um, a clunter run. Why don't we go do a clunter run? That'll be good. We'll do a clunter run and we'll finish the mines today. I think that's a good shout. That should be everything we need. Do we have anything to put back over here? Oh, I'm going to smelt some copper, actually. Wait, did I put mayo on? I did. Let's smelt some copper so we can start making kegs, too. That's a good shout. Thank you. Oh, and we want to replace those fences, too. So let me grab some wood. Did I have any fences left here? I've got one. Better than none. Uh, your mum was sending pictures of it from your bedroom window, and you were so upset about it. You love the moon? Yeah, it was gorgeous. I love the moon as well. Love la bella luna. You're sad to be missing this one now that I fully understand it and how scientifically interesting it is. Yeah. <laughs> this would be your first total. Yesterday was the most beautiful sunny day. Of course today's cloudy. No. So sad. <laughs> no worries, Meg. Hello, DJ. Welcome in. Oh, really, Anna? That's so cool. Uh, Quilly, hello, welcome in. How you doing? Uh, yes, I did wild. That's so cool. Jonas, hello, welcome. How are you? Good to see you in here. Let's make a few nice more back. fences. <laughs> nice back. That was Coda telling you nice back, Wild. There you go. <laughs> Rainbow with your first ever snoot. How exciting. <laughs> Oh, I forgot how quickly copper finishes, actually. Let's do that. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Did I put my copper away? I did not. I'm a genius. Beautiful. Welcome back, Meg. Coda says that every day when I call him late at night. Oh my god, the flirtation between these two. <laughs> Little planty with your first ever snoot as well. Wait, we got back to back first ever snoots and they were both pointy. <laughs> That's funny. We got some pointy snoots in the chat today. Okay, I think that's everything we want to take with us. So let's go. Let's go visit Klunta, shall we? There's more to perfection in 1.6, by the way. So your perfection run is out of date. <gasps> what? Nani? Maybe we need to do a 1.6 Comsen com perfection run. Ooh, I'm well, thank you, Quilly. Rainy Cave Dew, hello, I'm good, how are you? Wait, you didn't say how are you. Quilly said, how are you? I'm good. Rainy Cave Dew, if you care as well, I'm good. <laughs> I hope you're well. The kids are fighting, uh-oh. <laughs> of course, the anime reference. This isn't where I'm going, I'm going to the town. What am I up to? What am I up to? Your pasta water left a puddle on your kitchen floor. Pasta water can be so rude, honestly. Have you tried the trick where you put the wooden spoon on top of it to stop it from boiling over? I feel like I've tried it and it doesn't really work, but I don't know. Maybe I just don't have a good enough wooden spoon. <laughs> I'm glad you're good and I'm glad you're happy that I'm good. I'm glad we've cleared that up. <laughs> Betrayed by the pasta water. <laughs> Dwarf gadget. Okay, we're getting a few new things. Getting a few new things. I'm glad you're glad that I'm glad you're good. <laughs> it's, you know, it's a true fact. <laughs> Ooh, iridium. Honestly, very inconvenient and I've never tried that. Might need to start. Yeah, give it a crack. Two dwarf gadgets in one unlock. Jeez. Rainy KG, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. I appreciate you. I can't talk. <laughs> Two warp totems. Okay. I mean, I guess I'll take it, Clint. I guess. Now let's go see Gunter, baby. And thanks for booping your first ever snoot. And it's a fluffy one. You weren't paying attention. Just took a sip of your candle. No, right? No. Is your throat okay? <laughs> That's so brutal! Not the candle! Oh my god! I'm sorry for laughing, but that's... that's... Wow. <laughs> that's wow. 
just a delicious, mmm, yummy candle wax. Mmm. <laughs> that does sound dangerous. Oh, it wasn't lit. Thank God for that. <laughs> Oh, we got the treasure tro trove achievement. I what is wrong with my mouth today? The treasure trove achievement. Very good, very good. And we got a rare crow. Thanks, Gunter. <laughs> what is going on today? I just can't, I can't speak. Look, we're almost at time, okay? And I, it's just, it's, it's been long stream, technical difficulties, things happen. <laughs> You've been wanting to play Stardew again for a while and Rainy wants to play Stardew now. Do it. This is your sign. You were wrong. 1.6 just makes Joja perfection possible. Ah, okay, Anna, gotcha. Interesting. I didn't realize Joja couldn't be perfection before the update. I'm doing great, sweaty. Thank you, sweaty. From one sweaty to another. <laughs> From one sweaty to another. Do -do 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 Wait, did your vote tie wild? Uh oh. <laughs> you can't, you're on console, the update's still unavailable. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on, console update. I know, that would be rough rain. You could perfect with Joja, it just has a Joja specific route. Gotcha. Uh, Julia, you have the same Junimo plushie. This is Junimo Boba. They're so cute, hey. So squishy. Okay, let's put some things away and let's smash out. Absolutely smash out the last five levels of this goddamn mine. We got this. We absolutely got this. Even though I can't speak right today. <laughs> I may not be able to speak, but at least I can swing my sword. You know what I'm saying? See? <laughs> Look how good. Look how good my tool swinging is going already. <laughs> FYI, I like picking cozy streams to crochet too. Oh, I love that, Rainy. That's cute. Thank you for the follow, Julia. I appreciate that. Welcome to the pack. Oh, we got some more cave carrots. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't wink. You added the wink. That quote has been embellished. <laughs> Okay, we go down. Right, we we zoom in. We zoom in these last five levels. Dang. You were pleasantly surprised to see two of your drawings on the Gartic phone talent board. I thought you would be, Boba. They were very good. You're crocheting right now too, Limsy. Hell yeah. <laughs> we love the hobby, the hobby streams. Let me get that coal. <laughs> Wait, what 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 happened? What happened? <laughs> MG deleted the quote. Wait, was there a winking monkey? Why is there a winking monkey? I'm so confused. I don't remember there being a winking monkey. Taking away quotation marks. Yeah, thanks MG. We we don't do quotation marks. <laughs> Why are quotation marks bad? I just don't do them in my quotes for consistency. Yes, my editor brain is happy. A blankie for your puppy, Rainy. That's so cute. <laughs> it's literally a quote. Yeah, but it's a quote. Like, we know it's a quote already for the from the context of doing quote for it to pop up. <laughs> You're making a unicorn for your daughter. No, <laughs> She's not a puppy and she's my service dog, but I still call her a puppy. I feel ya. We have a four-year-old greyhound, but we only got him a month ago and he is definitely big puppy. <laughs> he big puppy. Ooh, we're in our final, final staircase to find, gang. Look at us. Look at us. We're doing so well. Whoop. Get out of here. Whoop. Whoop. Snoopity boop. All dogs are puppies. We had a whole conversation once on stream about how in my head all dogs are doggy doggies, puppy puppies, puppy doggies, or doggy puppies. I will explain no further. Thank you. <laughs> Yay! Level 120! We got that skull key, baby. It's probably going to be a hot minute until we unlock the bus or repair the bus, but at least we've got it, you know? 
All dogs are boys and all cats are girls. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> okay. By 3 p.m. Look at us. Absolute legends. What are we going to take back with us? We'll leave this, leave that, take this. What else do we want to take? We'll definitely take the gold. We'll take the stone. I'll take the void essence. Do, do, do. I will take the fire quartz. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. Back we go. Let's go empty everything. Are these ready tomorrow? Yeah, we'll have Mad Melon Harvest when we stream next. That might have been our first squid ink, actually. Yeah, it is. Hmm. Does that count as monster loot? I feel like it does. It does in my mind. I guess we'll plonk down this scarecrow. Oh, we actually have two unprotected spots, so <laughs> lucky we got another scarecrow. Bing bang bong. Bing bang bong. Uh, Misty, hello, welcome in. How you doing today? Whoa. Whoa. Monster loot. The orange tree's so cute. Wait, did that always look like that? I feel like I've never, like, paid very close attention to how the fruit trees look. But it's cute. All of the beautiful fruit trees in Edinburgh are currently blooming. It's just stunning. It's stunning, I tell ya. Um, let's smelt some more. Oh, we can make a couple of kegs, actually. No, we can't. We can make a single keg. <laughs> you know what? One keg is better than none keg. <laughs> so I'll take it. Wait, let's actually do... Let's smelt those rather than the gold. Because that's more what we need for now. I'm good, Misty. Thank you. Enjoying 1.6 Stardew very much. Oh, and of course we need wood as well. My bad. Uh, what did the game name your chickens, Rainy? I got... Oh, I'm not sure if you're behind an ad. Are you behind an ad, Rainy? How do you see the radius of a scarecrow, Connor? That's UI Info Suite, which is a quality of life mod. I'll wait until Rainy's back from ad land before answering. Right, let's get a keg and then we can finally make pale ale for Pam, who has been waiting so incredibly patiently. <laughs> oh, you're not in an ad? Okay. Um, mine were Portobello and Porcini, the mushrooms, and I actually love mushrooms, so I thought it was incredibly apt. <laughs> I'm very happy with those names. I guess we'll just put you there for now. Lovely. No worries, Connor. Incredibly appointment? Is that what I said? <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> Snowy and ginger snap. Cute. <laughs> Is Snowy also a type of biscuit? I'm assuming. Incredibly apt. Oh, appointment. Apartment? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, okay. That's looking, that's looking snazzy. Actually, let's melt a couple more things then. Both things you say apt for. Gotcha. Let's do a couple more gold bars. And then hopefully our trees grow up in time for us to get a few oak resins. I'm just in a mood. Don't mind me. What are you playing? Did you decide yet, Wild? And then I'm actually going to clear a couple of things. For the rest of the die. The rest of the die. Where's my axe? There it is. Vote landed on Stardew. Gotcha. Oh my god. Lightning. Can you chill your bones? We can't make lightning rods yet, right? No, we can't. Okay. What a shame. That's not true, Wild. <laughs> Plenty of people were enjoying it yesterday. Oh, don't chop that one down. That one's literally the tree farmer. <laughs> my bad. Leave that one. Ooh, mystery box. Thank you, tree. And butterflies. Wow, that's a blessed tree. <laughs> what a beautiful tree. Wait, I don't want to chop down. I keep forgetting. Am I meant to be leaving trees around this stump? Like, do normal trees need to be around them? Or is it just the curly trees? I actually don't know. 
Others think it's fun, but it's obvious what the superior game is. This is 1.6, Ali, yes. Or Ali, sorry, however you pronounce your name. It's a good time. <laughs> level up, level up, level up, level up. The superior game is making fun of Bella. Wow. <laughs> I've been nice to you today, Wild. MG's been more cheeky to you today than I have. <laughs> Let's clear this out. I said it right the first time, Ali. Gotcha. Yeah, it's a good time. Have you played it? There's so much new stuff. Oh my gosh. Well, stop it. It makes me feel like you're mad at me. <laughs> Just like when someone says your full first name and you're like, oh, what did I do? <laughs> I very, very, very rarely use Coda's full name, his first full name. <laughs> and whenever I do, it's very much like, oh, <laughs> am I in trouble? <laughs> and vice versa, to be honest, he never uses mine either. Treat me like crap again, please. <laughs> Will I'm a bubba. <laughs> I don't know why that's a thing. I guess because nicknames are like a term of endearment, hey? Wild stop picking on Dwill. <laughs> Ooh, Woody secret. Woody from Toy Story. <laughs> Felled trees have a 5% chance to yield double the wood. Woody, yes. I love how you say my name too. Everyone where I live just sounds weird saying it, Ali. <laughs> you can come in here and listen to me say your name whenever you like. I learned how to get more wood. It's a good, good day. It's a good day. <laughs> you need to announce that your rats are currently cuddling in the most adorable pose ever. Oh my God. Can you please take a photo? I want to see the cuddling rats. That sounds great. If anyone calls me wild 101, I know I'm about to get wrecked. <laughs> the wood jokes are overwhelming. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm starting to feel exhausted. That's valid. Do they say it like Orly? Surely no one pronounces that name as Orly, like Wally. You're gonna get off for the for a few of the clips as soon? No stress. I'm finishing at the end of this day anyway, clown. Hope you get to see the eclipse well where you are. Enjoy. I know I'm sorry as well, Ali. Hopefully console will get 1.6 soon. Wow! Wow! <laughs> You'll try your hardest, but you fear if you move, they will too. That's fair. Try your best. Don't disturb them if they're very cozy. Cozy Gamer K, speaking of cozy, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome to the pack. <laughs> the farm's gonna be so pretty. So cleared and pretty. Oops. That wood was like, nope. <laughs> you get extra wood from trees now? Oh, how about I yeet myself into the river? <laughs> uh, mine too, there's a new movie coming out called Wild Robot that looks just as good. Ooh, like a Pixar one, Disney Pixar. You give me Fox vibes. Rainy, I've never received a better compliment in my life. I love foxes so much. <laughs> I I can die happy now. Goodbye, everyone. I don't know why me dying is me falling asleep. <laughs> I love foxes with my whole heart. My whole heart. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Ali. Appreciate that. Um, they did move, but I got a cute photo of them anyways. Thank you, Meg. Appreciate that. I'm gonna hurt you. I've never made kegs, Anna. No way. Do Foxy? Oh no, now I get to see how Foxy I am. Uh oh. Aww. I mean, 42 is the meaning of life, so that means the meaning of my life is Fox, so. Stop banging. Did I bang my mic? Sorry. Sorry for bonk. Sorry for bonk. You have the fear? <laughs> 42. Pop off, you know? You give me potato vibes? <laughs> You remind me of a potato and everything it can make. 
As like funny as that is, as you very well know, Bob, potatoes are my favorite food and potatoes are also incredibly adaptable, which is a trait that I pride myself on having as a person. So that's also a very good compliment. <laughs> very good compliment. Did I bonk my mic again? Uh oh. Sebi wants a diamond. Sebi. I'm I'm gonna marry Shane. I can't give you a diamond and Shane. <laughs> we have time for a couple more trees. Explain why you've had poutine. Because it's a global dish. Just because it originates from Canada. That's like saying why has anyone had curry or a burger? <laughs> you can get poutine anywhere. Global. <laughs> Yeah, I love poutine. There was an amazing bar that did a really good vegan poutine actually in Sydney with like vegan cheese curds and everything. It was mind blowing. And I myself make really easy poutine. It's like my favorite topping for, for um, chips. So I'll make, I'll just make gravy and cheese and chips and just nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Wait, y'all got traits. <laughs> yeah, we got traits more than just romantic times three like your sim. You picked that compliment very carefully. Yeah, you did well, Bubba. You did well. All I am is exist. <laughs> you know, sometimes all we can do is exist and that's okay. You've never met a person who doesn't like potato. I've never met a person who doesn't like me. <laughs> I'm kidding. That was so bad. Lucky I'm ending stream. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You can't get poutine in the US. There's no way you can get it in Australia, but not the US. Your favorite food is also potatoes, but it sounds like I'm lying because you said it first. Poutine is gravy and cheese, yeah. There we go. We got the lightning rod the day after a lightning storm. That feels rude, but we got it. <laughs> right, that's me, gang. I'm ending up stream now. Uh, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. Head over to twitch.tv slash the red wolf or TikTok.com slash the Red Wolf Clips if you'd like to catch these live.